And uh, we got a lot of stuff coming, a whole lot of really cool guests with great stories. They're going to be sharing you exactly, uh, basically how they built their incredible businesses. So thank you very much for joining. This is going to be an amazing webinar that you do not want to miss. And so to start things off, just to let a few more people get on their way and join, what I'd like you to do is use the Q&A panel on GoToWebinar and just mark that you can see and hear us. You should be able to see us on camera and uh, you should be able to hear us. And so it looks like somebody, uh, Michael says, can hear you loud and clear. We got Robert, uh, Bill, Ned, Brendan, Yasser, David, Jennifer, Pedro, Fuad, uh, Dorothy, Wendy, uh, Melissa, <laughs> Melissa from here, uh, and then we got Yelly, Weston, Suzanne, so sweet, so everyone can hear us loud and clear. And next question, where are you all uh, visiting us from? Where are you calling in from? Where in the world are you at? Let's see here. We got Australia, uh, who is that? Roche, Rochelle from Australia. We got Wendy from Los Angeles, uh, Virginia, South Carolina, Toronto, Abilene, Texas, Kauai. That's nice. Pittsburgh, uh, Canada, Blight? You know where Blight is? No, I don't. Huh. Enlighten us. Where is Blight at? <laughs> uh, Cal California, Plano, Texas, Georgia, Detroit, Miami, Australia, Detroit, Chicago, Montana, Winnipeg, Canada, Vancouver, Canada. I'm not seeing the full screen. Uh, depending on how big your panel is set up uh, for GoToWebinar, you may just have to drag the thing or there may be a full screen thing. We don't control that on our end. You should just be able to see the only thing on the screen is, uh, is the video feed of us right now. We're going to be bringing on guests pretty soon here. But you should be able to see that and the size is up to you. Virgin Islands, nice. We got Costa Rica. Who is that? Uh, Alexis from Costa Rica, I'm actually going to be there starting on Sunday, going down to Tamarindo for a few days, a little bit of vacation after this kind of crazy launch we have going on. Uh, so that's cool. So we got Columbia, Maryland, Michigan, Denver, Kansas City, North Carolina, Atlanta, on a ship. Somebody's on a ship. Weston is on a ship. <laughs> Columbia, Rhode Island, people from all over the place. Uh, I got somebody in Greece, Liverpool. So I know a lot of people over there in... Um, Europe and uh, all over the world. So it's pretty late for a lot of you all. So thank you very much for joining us and taking the time to do this. You will not regret it. So we've got a lot of uh, you know really special people that are gonna be joining us. So some of these people have started just recently in this business. Some of these people started you know a couple years ago and uh, they've, they've achieved massive success. And the reason we wanna bring them on is because we believe that you can follow their exact same steps and build your own super successful business. Uh, so first off, just want to welcome you for, for coming. You're going to have a great time. Get ready to take notes. As usual, shut off all the other stuff on your computer so you can hear us loud and clear. You don't run into bandwidth issues. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're here to engage. So if you have questions, we're going to do a live Q&A session at the end. This is probably going to be a bit of a longer presentation here because we've got, I believe, seven guests that are going to be joining us. And you're going to see we're going to be kind of rotating up here. Right now, it's me and Mike, and then Jason's going to be coming on, Rich is going to be coming on, and we're going to interview all these people so you can hear their stories. And uh, I have to absolutely mention that Doors to Amazing Selling Machine are closing tonight, Thursday, May 3rd at 11.59 p.m. Pacific. So at AmazingSellingMachine.com, this is your last chance to get access. And so, uh, Mike, you know, you've started in the same shoes as a lot of these people that we're going to be talking to. Like, maybe just explain a little bit about kind of why somebody's sitting here, maybe thinking about joining Amazing Selling Machine would want to hear these people's stories like what benefit do you think they're going to get out of it yeah absolutely so uh, like matt said we have several guests coming on tonight and one of the really cool things about that is that each one of them comes from a completely different background like you're not going to find one person's story who's exactly the same as someone else's uh no one of the same stories i have uh but there is a common theme and the theme is that every single one of the guests we're, we're going to bring on tonight they've joined the amazing selling machine They've taken that uh, that next step to making their futures and their lives better for themselves and their families. And that's probably the biggest common theme among all the guests tonight. Now, other than that, though, uh, it's a big, you know, very uh, set of guests we have. We have one guy, our first guest, who's absolutely crushing it selling supplements. Uh, you know, we did a, a webinar just a few nights ago about some of the hottest markets on Amazon. And one of the hottest markets, like at the very top, was supplements. And we always talk about how is it too competitive to get into? 
We're going to bring our guest on who's absolutely crushing it and who has not let that competition stop in one way at all. We have another guest, uh, you'll be interested to hear this, from Costa Rica, who's going to be on later. So maybe you'll you'll meet them up next week when you're down there. Yeah. Uh, we have a guest here who uh, is a former cop and who started this business with no online business experience at all. Uh, we have another guest who's a military spouse, who uh, their husband travels all over the world working for the military. And so they have to pick up and move pretty often, uh, which can be you know really hard to hold down a job and help bring in additional income for the family. Well, this person has figured it out using their business to sell products on Amazon, build their own brand. And that way they can go anywhere they want to and they can really increase their standard of living and help supplement, you know, all those times that maybe their, their spouse isn't home for all, you know, for a lot of time. Well, they can like go do cool things. They just went to Washington, DC, got to take a nice vacation there. Just lots of different opportunities that are available to these people who've created these other awesome businesses on Amazon. And they just Amazon's just the start of it. Now, so the reason you might want to hear from these people, maybe something will resonate in their story that resonates with you. I know that happened with me when I heard stories of people who've been, you know, where I was running a corporate job, working nine to five, not getting very many vacation days every year. And when I heard people were doing crazy numbers on Amazon and no longer tied down to that desk job, that totally changed my perspective of what's possible. And it totally changed my life when I joined Amazing Selling Machine. So every one of the guests on here, their lives have been changed. And my hope is that you know, as many people watching this webinar will find something resonating with them and then they'll take the next step tonight to make their life change as well. Yep, absolutely. So uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get started and uh, start bringing on our first guest. And so we'll get his video showing, make sure all that's going good. Uh, as our first one, so bear with us just for a second while we make sure we can get everyone working. We'll get his video showing, get him unmuted in just a second. So, yep, can see him on camera now. And then let's see if he can unmute him. I'll unmute him myself. So, unmute him. So, hey, Brandon, can you hear us? Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Awesome. Good. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, we can hear you loud and clear. I uh, really appreciate you joining. Yeah. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, so yeah, I've gotten to know Brandon over the past, you know, six months or so. I guess it's been maybe more about a year now, and uh, he's got an amazing stories. Been super successful with his business. Uh, so, Brandon, maybe you know, just kind of um, walk us back to the beginning. You know, how did how did you get started in this business? Yeah, so we had a little bit of a, uh, you know, had a little bit of a background in internet marketing before uh, through SEO, and uh, we kind of had some ups and downs in our you know e-commerce businesses back then. And uh, my brother-in-law actually came across an ad uh, for the uh, ASM course back in 2013 and uh, brought it to me. And, you know, the rest is kind of history. We, you know, saw the success that everyone was having with it and decided that was for us and that we wanted to try it out. And we hit the ground running with it and uh, just dove right in, you know, and uh, been, been with it ever since. Awesome. And then, uh, you know, kind of fast forward today, you know, how much revenue about does your business produce um, nowadays? Uh, each year it's about three and a half right now. Um, you know, over the course of the year, it's probably about 11, something like that um, since we started. Okay, cool. And so people, in case they're not clear, it's three and a half million dollars per year. Uh, so yeah, three and a half million dollars. And uh, yeah, so absolutely awesome. And like, uh, you know, something you've been kind of public about recently is that the market you sell in is something that a lot of people maybe don't understand very well. Cause I mean, you sell, uh, you know, supplements and beauty products, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the majority of our business. You know, we do have a little bit of diversification, but the majority of our products are in the supplement and beauty niches. Okay, cool. And then, uh, you know, with, with that kind of market, you know, typical questions people always want to know is, you know, uh, isn't it too competitive? Like, how do you get started in that? If people are interested in like building a business, selling physical products on Amazon, using the model that you learned through Amazing Selling Machine, using the model that we've been talking about a lot over the past two and a half weeks, you know, for people looking to get started now in that market, you know, what what do you think they can do to help themselves, you know, compete, you know, based on based on all the existing offerings? Yeah, the biggest thing is just really paying attention to the product research, like diving in there and seeing what you can improve on, you know, seeing where the market is actually lacking and seeing where you could come in right away and start competing. You know, there's a lot of uh, trends out there in the health world, you know, like the keto diet's getting really big right now. And so there's all kinds of products like that that you could go dive into and kind of put your little spin, your little variation on and really start competing right away. You know, I think a lot of people get you know, scared off of it because they look at the supplement and the beauty industry as a whole and not in little subsections of it in itself. Okay, cool. Yeah, great, great advice. 
Um, so what do you think, you know, in your business, you know, you've, you've been pretty successful, like pretty fast. Like, what do you think has helped you be so successful so quickly, you know, kind of giving advice to people here that may be at the very, very beginning stages of building this business? Yeah, uh, the two biggest thing is like focus is number one. You know, you got to uh, put the effort in. You got to put the work in and just do something every day that moves the needle forward. And then systems, you know, having the systems in place, stuff to follow step by step, which the ASM course is laid out perfectly like that. And just going through, like I said, every day and taking action and doing something that moves the needle forward. And, you know, over time, you're going to start getting those wins. It's going to start snowballing and then it just kind of rolls from there. Cool. Are you got a question? Yeah, I was wondering that, that Brandon, I think, you know, we've talked before, but you have a pretty unique story. So one of the questions that I love always hearing about is how you've overcome a lot of challenges. So if you don't mind like sharing a little bit, how has ASM and selling on Amazon helped you in your personal life? Yeah, so about a year into selling on Amazon, you know, I was real healthy and all that. And all of a sudden I just got uh, just this back pain just started taking over my body. And for about three and a half years now, there's not been a day that I have not had that pain. And so this business has actually allowed me to work through that. You know, I've had multiple spinal fusions. I've had hundreds of injections, months of physical therapy, all this stuff that if I had a normal job, you know, a normal eight to five or whatever, I wouldn't have been able to do it. I wouldn't have been able to support my family. I wouldn't have been able to, you know, follow my dreams or anything like that. And this business has actually allowed me to do all that. Um, some days it's only 10 minutes a day I could put in, but you know, those 10 minutes I'm doing something to move that needle forward. And other days I could put in a couple hours and stuff like that. But that's the beauty of this business. You know, you can do it anytime, anywhere, um, through any kind of pain. So, um, you know, it really has allowed me to, you know, to really continue on with my life like I want to. So. Excellent. Yeah. I mean, so that, that's, that's great to hear you. Know, like no one hates to hear about anyone going through anything like that, uh, but it is heartening to hear that this has helped you in, in that way. And you've, just, you've inspired so many people. I know I always follow you. I love how you share your story with so many people. Um, and I'm assuming there's a reason you share, like you, you just want to see other people succeed in their lives like you have. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's what makes the world go better, right? You know, sharing our knowledge, making everyone better. So um, I love to help people. And so any time that I can share any kind of, you know, information with anybody, you know, it makes me feel better. So I'm always willing to help and share. And, you know, I think more people need to be willing to share their stories. So. Cool. Awesome. And I know a lot of people like, you know, kind of standard stuff people always want to know is like, First off, like how much did you start with in this business? Like how much in, in inventory investment? Um, so at the beginning, you know, we put uh, quite a bit, you know, it was a couple thousand dollars into the initial inventory. Now, you know, it kind of varies uh, in between the products, but we like to still start small. Uh, you know, since we do source locally here in the US for the majority of our products, we're allowed to test with smaller, you know, inventory units. And so there's sometimes that we, you know, we launch products for, you know, just over a thousand dollars and then other times it's a couple thousand or even more. But uh, yeah, we like to test small and uh, test a lot. So, you know, usually we start with like 300 units on average um, for each product. So did you start off with just one product or do you uh, start with more than one? Yeah, we started off with one product and put all the time and effort into that one product. And at the time, uh, it was the hottest product on Amazon, which was Garcinia Cambogia, which was a weight loss supplement and appetite suppressant that was made famous by Dr. Oz, I think back in 2012, 2013, somewhere around there. And uh, so, you know, we decided to put all our energy all the time into that one product, into the hardest product and uh, take it from there. And, you know, since we were able to get that one up and, you know, hit a home run with that one. It allowed us to, you know, get the confidence of everything else and keep moving forward. Awesome. You know, so one of the other questions I had for you too was we really didn't, you know, hear a lot about your success until I think over a year ago. So I, I believe you were probably one of those quiet success stories for a while who'd been yeah. doing, you know, kind of chugging in the background. Tell me, uh, you know, like, how, so how did this business grow for you? Did it take off from day one? Uh, kind of give us a quick idea of that, that scale, how it went upwards. So it didn't take off day one. Uh, the day after Thanksgiving in 2013 is when we decided to move forward and try this business. Uh, by March, 
uh, we had about four people working with us full time. So it took off fairly quickly from there. And, you know, over the course of the time, I say, um, yeah, probably about eight to 12 months somewhere around there is when we made our first million. And then it just kind of snowballed from there. And, you know, we grew to a company with 12 employees and, uh, you know, hired a bunch of friends and family and stuff like that. So it kind of took off and went really quick, uh, <laughs> which was really good and uh, really fun. So. Yeah, no, I mean, you talk about having four employees after just six months. That's that's pretty darn quick in my books. That's that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, you do yeah. A lot of like, you do a lot of like the running this business with your family, right? Like it's kind of like a family operation at this point. Yeah, it really is. Uh, you know, and it's friends of the family who we hire and stuff too. So uh, work with my wife every day, my father-in-law, brother-in-law, you know, uh, mother-in-law helps here and there too. So it really is a big family business. And uh, we all each play our little roles in it. So, and how how does that go? Is it, is it a good thing, bad thing? I guess it's still going, so it's got to be good enough. Yeah, it's good. We live out of state, so it ain't that bad. But uh, <laughs> we all work from home, um, yeah. which is really good. So, you know, working in a tough office all day might change it, but yeah, it it works really well. And uh, like I said, we work from home, so it's uh, even better that way. Cool. And, you know, kind of like wrapping up here, you know, how, how has this business impacted your life? You know, you've been on a kind of wild ride here the past few years. You've got this business that's chugging along. You've found your groove. I mean, your kind of business, if it's doing, you know, uh, three, four million dollars in revenue a year, I mean, that kind of business can be sold for pretty much that amount of money. You could walk away tomorrow with like a, you know, if you started the process, obviously it takes a little while to sell a company, but six months from now, somebody could literally hand you a four million dollar check and like you'd be done and like but you're still running it and cash flow and all that sort of good stuff so i mean like overall like how has building this business kind of impacted your life so like i mentioned earlier you know just dealing with the pain and all that has allowed me to you know really put my health first and get the treatments that i wouldn't have been able to afford any other way you know i've been lucky and fortunate enough to you know have the funds to really try a lot of different things and you know put that money into it and see what works and doesn't so i wouldn't have been able to do that without it you know this business has also you know developed some of the best friendships i've ever had um it's one big community which i love you don't see other competitors and you know other businesses out there helping each other like you do here um and so i think it's made me you know a better person a better friend a better husband all that stuff um, just from meeting, you know, people that lift me up and make it better. So, um, yeah, <laughs> you know, it's it's just a great thing all around. Okay, awesome. So we've got lots of people here that are sitting here watching. You know, we've been talking about Amazing Selling Machine. We've come out with our ninth version. The doors closed literally tonight. This is kind of their last chance. Um, like, what is your advice for people that are maybe sitting on the fence or thinking about getting started in the business, but they're they're still not like 100% sure? Yeah, don't wait. I mean, it's a proven formula. It's worked, you know, time and time. Like you just said, it's a ninth version, you know, time you released it. And it's because it keeps working, you know, it keeps generating all these successful businesses and stuff like that. And the longer that you wait, the further you get behind. You know, I wish that I knew about this 10 years ago. You know, I'd take over everything on Amazon. But, <laughs> you know, it's don't start. The best time is now you will always hear you know people say that and they're saying it because it's the truth you know so pull the trigger the guarantees you know make it worth it where you don't have any stress to worry about anything like that so definitely just pull the trigger follow the course and take action daily and you're going to be successful with it so Sweet. great thank you yeah thank you very much brandon i know you got a busy schedule and lots of things going on but i really appreciate you, you taking the time to join us yeah thank you for having me i really appreciate it yeah, thank you. All right, cool. So yeah, everybody, that was uh, Brandon. He was our first guest. So next up, we have a person who's actually here in Austin, Texas. And I believe Mike actually met him at a mastermind. Yeah, so, sure uh, did. Want to introduce him? Yeah, I'm going to bring up our next guest. He's an awesome guy. I got to know him a couple of years ago. He lives here in Austin. So every chance I get when I'm down here, I want to get together and, and hang out with him. So I want to introduce Eric Tooby. Eric, come on, get up here, brother. Hey, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, uh, awesome. Isn't it great hearing those stories like from Brandon? That's, yeah, that's, man. That's, I, I love hearing that stuff. It's it, it, it's so great to see, you know, I, you know, we have our story and my friend's stories, but to see that it's, it's, it's just the norm with this. You, know, you see all sorts of people. It's been 
been a great experience. You know, so we got a chance to hang out a few months ago down in Florida again, right? Uh, and hear more about your story. So uh, everyone's got their own story, and that's one of the things we like about bringing these different people in. Right. Uh, you have a unique one too. So tell me, uh, what, when did you start selling on Amazon, and what were you doing at that time? Uh, my wife and I started selling on Amazon together in 2014, June. Actually, it'll be our fourth anniversary coming up here next month. And uh, I was in I was in remodeling. I was I was really the grunt on a, on a, on a, on a, a team of, uh, we did kitchen and bathroom remodels and it was great. I mean, I love the guys I worked with. It was creative, but it wasn't going to get me my goals. It wasn't going to get me where I wanted to be. So, um, we, you know, we were looking for something else and, uh, I mean, I was looking for all sorts of stuff. I knew I wanted it to be online. I knew I wanted it to be on my own schedule and I knew I didn't want there to be a cap on my income. So when a friend of my wife's told us about this, it was just like, that's it. I mean, I know exactly where I was when my wife called me to tell me. Yeah. Yeah. So then, and before that, you were doing something even I'd say pretty, pretty cool too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a professional rock musician. Awesome. That okay. was that was a lot of fun. What'd you play? I played drums. Okay. So yeah, yeah. Now, has selling on Amazon given you a chance to dabble in that again a little bit? Yes, it has. I went from being, I went from being rock musician to suddenly out of the blue, single dad of a four, four month old baby. And then, so that career was over and I just kind of did what I had to do, started a couple businesses. Some were great, some were not. And then, um, and then I met my wife now and we have another baby now, but it was, I kind of, for a long time, I said, all right, I'm done with that whole life. And, but I've always loved it. It's always uh, been a part of me. So with this business, I, I can go play now. I play every day now because I can, but I do it because I love to, not because I have a manager telling me where I need right. to be or because I'm trying to sell a record or because of, you know, whatever, any other reason, because I'd love to. That's awesome. And, uh, you know, one thing I got to see personally is you get to spend time with your daughter now too. Yeah. So when we were in Florida, mm -hmm. uh, we had a table full of entrepreneurs sitting around working on their computers and the youngest one was there, Charlie. She was working on her iPad. Did she made them playing a game? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I think a little bit of both. Yeah, but what a, what a great thing just to fly her down to Florida, meet up with us, and get to hang out for an afternoon. We absolutely. love it. Well, yeah, absolutely. I mean, she's on the other side of that wall right oh, now because I can. Other ones with grandma because uh -huh. any excuse to see grandma and get spoiled for an <laughs> afternoon. So she's with her. Yeah, it, it's it's the best, man. I get to spend so much time with my family now. And, you know, any family man's going to gonna love the idea of that. And, and I'll tell you, you sit there and go, you know, well, that's fun for a while. But, you know, I love it. Yeah, I absolutely. love it, man. I, I I absolutely love it. I wouldn't trade my life for anybody's. I really wouldn't. Now, so in order to like you know be able to, to get to this level and do what you want to do, um, you guys made some you know fairly good sales progress early on, right? How long do yeah. you think it took you before you were making enough? Well, you know, different question. How long <laughs> were you actually selling before you were able to quit and do this full time? I was selling. We were officially launched for three weeks. Three when, weeks when I quit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mind you. My advice for anybody is if you don't detest what you do for a living, stick it out as long as you can and keep reinvesting into your business. We were in the position where I didn't have to do that. I didn't, I didn't detest what I did, but I definitely didn't love what I did. And, um, and I really wanted to create on this business a lot more. So, you know, we figured out the numbers and, um, you know, I, 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 I called my wife one day and you know that story yeah where were you at when you called her I was I was um, I was standing in the dirt sitting on what used to be the floor of a house about two miles from here uh, in July in Austin Texas and it was brutal hot man and and my and my boss asked me to sweep sheetrock out of the dirt before I left that day so I was like yeah I gotta go <laughs> I was done so I called my wife and I said how much do we need to be selling in order to um, in order to supplant my income and still have room to grow. And she gave me the number, I looked at the numbers and went, we're already doing it. So I'm gonna quit tomorrow and she, she totally had my back. And so I started pushing the business a lot harder while she stayed at her job. She was already in marketing for uh, an organic supplement company. So she stayed there for a while and then, but she quit five months later. Oh, and so today, what do you do a year in sales revenue? Uh, between 1.3 and 1.5. That's that's awesome, yeah, yeah to go from, uh, Sweeping sheetrock out of dirt yeah. to doing uh, almost a million and a half a year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and now another thing too that, I, and, I, and I love, like, you know, we've talked before, so I'm not going to pretend like I don't know some of the answers to these questions, but I love the story behind Eric and Sadie and Charlie and the whole family. Uh, I know you also have a passion for helping kids. Yeah. I mean, it's, um, it's kind of what got us to sell in the, in, in the, um, in the area that we sell in. My wife looked at me and she's like, what are you passionate about? I was like, 
you. <laughs> good answer. My, good answer. My, my, First good answer, yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, no dummy. <laughs> and uh, no, and, and my daughters. And, you know, overall kid health, honestly. Like, you know, I, I have this thing where I look at I look at Cheetos today and I look at Cheetos when I was a kid. They're not the same thing. You know what I mean? I look at the food kids are given. I look at the I look at the um, I, I, you know, I look at the drugs kids are given nowadays. I look at the I look at you know, the cafeteria food that kids are getting. And, and it makes me nuts. You know, we, uh, we, you know, we donate to a charity that, that helps with stuff like that. And I just want to see kids be healthy and happy. And, um, and so that's the only thing I can think of that where I get fired up. Like I wasn't looking for something I'm super passionate about. The only thing I can think of was like, well, I get fired up when I talk about that. So I'm like kids health. So we kind of got into that world and it made sense for us. And so this business has helped you get into that space, into that space. Right. Okay. Absolutely. Fantastic. Well, yeah. And then, well, they're not just that, but, but this business is allowing us to serve all sorts of other charity work that we do. And, uh, you know, last time I talked to you, I was, I was heading up to Toronto and that went amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, I met several people, some might be watching right now. And, uh, and I'll tell you, it, you know, my wife is actually working on something for the last four or five months out in Florida. Um, and she's back and it allowed us to do that. And, you know, I'm about to leave town for a little while and it's allowing us to do that. Basically, we could, you know, there was a year where we went to the Caribbean four times just because we could. It was a marketing conference. I mean, yeah, they were, yeah, I shouldn't yeah, put air yeah. quotes. They were marketing conferences. In case the IRS is listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they actually were. That's right. But it was, um, you know, it's it's given us a life, a life that, that I dreamt of. You know, rock musician didn't give me that life. You know, I tried to force that with that life, but it, it just, it wasn't. I'm, I'm just... I'm just genuinely happy. Yeah, you, you can tell. And yeah, Eric gives a lot back to his church, the charities, yeah. his personal time. Uh, you are one of a kind. It's, it's amazing. Thanks. I appreciate everything you do. And uh, I want to ask one question people always ask. We talked about earlier with Brandon mm -hmm. as well. Do you remember about how how much did you have to invest in your inventory starting out? Was it a lot of money or? No, I, our first inventory order was, I, I want to say, $2,300, okay. I think. And um we sold out of that faster than I thought, so I learned about inventory management pretty quickly on. Um, but yeah, it was twenty, twenty, twenty four hundred dollars, something like twenty three, something like that. Yeah. But but I think we profited, not profited. I think we our gross sales off of that twenty three hundred dollars was like ten grand. Yeah, that's so, amazing. Yeah, something like that. Well, that helped fund you being able to quit your job earlier. Oh yeah, than yeah, 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 way earlier than I thought. I mean, it was, I mean, three weeks. That's I'm not saying that everybody has it happen to them, but it was. Um, it's pretty nice. Yeah, you know, and so uh, anyone out there wondering about, you know, what the normal or average inventory investment is, we say anywhere from five hundred to twenty five hundred dollars mm -hmm. is what you can expect. You can go big if you want to. Mm -hmm. uh, we talked to someone who decided to invest eight thousand. Mm -hmm. uh, we also talked to someone else who decided to spend one hundred twenty five dollars. So there really is a wide gamut here of what's possible, uh, and you're right in the average as far as what you right. invested there. I, I, yeah, I've, I've I've seen I've seen a lot of people do a bunch of different. I've even known guys that said, I just want to see how this works, and they'll yeah. they'll go and just get some whole. Uh, uh, some some um, like a wholesale import company and just get 10 of a product just to you know wet their whistle a little bit and Absolutely. see how it goes yeah. yeah so now we have a lot of people sitting on this call right here uh, who are probably wondering uh, you know if they should go ahead and follow in your footsteps and and Brandon's footsteps and the footsteps of everyone else gonna bring on here any advice you might have to them kind of people just sitting on the fence um you know the advice I would give to you honestly would be you're on this. You're on this video. Right, watching this video right now because there's something you want to change in your life. And and I'll I'll tell you the moment you start worrying about the things that can stop you, is the moment you shrink your ability to make a change in your life. The moment you start focusing on like oh how much is the course and how much is the inventory? Do I have that? You start looking at the things that are going to stop you. You become this big. When you look at the life that you can achieve, that you're clearly looking for, and and the moment you look at that, there's a freedom to that, man. And there's, there's ability in that. If you do nothing, nothing will occur. If you look at what it is that you want to achieve and you can see how this, and, and if it's, if it's, if it's freedom from a nine to five, if it's financial freedom, if it's a life where you don't want to cap on what you can create, then I promise you, you could do it with this. You really can. It's not just me. I have so many friends that are successful in this business. So many friends that I've made, but what I think the common denominator is that we focus on the life that we want and the life and, and the goals that we have as opposed to the things that can stop me. The moment you start focusing on that, that becomes the purpose is to avert getting, you know, to avert that. Who cares about that? Just, 
I just said, you know what, That's good. that makes sense to me, let's do it. I'm tired of the life I'm living. We threw down the credit card, we bought the course, I started doing the course, I call my wife, I took Fridays off, I call my wife every week, blown out of my mind, oh my God, honey, oh my, this is what we're gonna do. I was just blown away <laughs> and and it was it was fantastic, man. And you know, it's just focus on, focus on what the goals are and I promise that this will get you there. I mean, just do what they say. I, I don't know anybody that did what they said that didn't succeed. I mean, maybe they are there. I, you know, I'm not, you know, not going to promise anything, but I, I know a lot of people whose lives are a lot different today because they said, that's the freedom I want and I'm going to go for it. Awesome. Well, I know you got to get going. Your family's here. I appreciate you for driving down here for this interview. Uh, always love seeing you. Love seeing the family out there, as a matter of fact. Um, and one of the amazing things that I'm just going to like say here as well, it's not just the way you can change your own life and how you can see your friends' lives change. It's the, all the people you meet out of this too. Oh You're one of them. I got to meet Eric. I never would have met him if I wouldn't have joined this course. And if you wouldn't have joined and started selling, I never would have met Rich, Matt, Jason, all the guys here. So, so um, this, yeah, so many people. Wonderful friends. Friends. Wonderful, yeah. amazing people. Yeah. yeah. Well, Eric, thank you so much. Uh, bring it in here. All right. Thank you. Until the wife and uh, your family said hi as well. Absolutely. All right. All right. So now I want to thank Eric Tui for coming up here. And we have another special guest. And to help me, me. Uh, I want to introduce Rich Henderson. He is not the special guest, although he is very special. And uh, so, Rich, welcome aboard. Hey, everybody. All right. So our next guest we're going to bring on is already on the screen. And her name is Gracie Smith. She is the spouse of a military member. Someone, so thank you very much for your husband's service to our country, Gracie. Um, you know, it's just amazing what you're able to do. And I'll make sure, uh, can uh, make sure you're unmuted. Can you say something real quick? Hi. Hi, Excellent. everyone. Awesome. Awesome. And then Gracie also is one of our mentors. Uh, Rich Henderson is the chief mentor, leads up our entire mentor program. And he was smart I got enough. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> and he was smart enough to uh, notice Gracie helping out all over the place in the community uh, and asked her to join in and become an official mentor and she jumped at it. So uh, Gracie, thank you Mert, very much for joining us. And uh, first, where are you uh, calling us from right now? Jacksonville, Florida, so. Awesome, great. So Gracie, um, when did you actually start selling on Amazon? Well, I joined the course in 2014 and I, started my product launch in July during the event. Uh, I went to in Vegas, the live event. So, and then, yeah, it started, it started that time around that time. Okay. So that's, uh, not quite four years ago, as a matter of fact. And I remember, uh, you, you joining in that time. So you, uh, you were, you were one of our uh, most avid learners and members always trying to learn more about everything and help people out. I actually okay. remember she always kept things very close to her chest. Like we didn't realize how well she was doing till about 18 months later when you actually uh, let us know how well you were doing. So um, could you, like, I know everyone always asks us this question. It's like, how much did you start with? Like, what was your first inventory order? Can you remember that far back? Well, I ordered like 200 units and that was like, because it was like a bit expensive. That was 2000 something. But when I joined the course, um, I told you this story that my husband wasn't there. He doesn't know, <laughs> but he did not know. And I just like, I was one of the first few who joined as soon as Matt is done talking on video four. And I remember that time the system broke, remember? Yeah. Um, it broke the system and everyone was panicking. And I'm like, I need to join too. You know, there's, there's lots of commotion out there. And I, I think I kept that for, for a few days before I told my husband and I got really like, um, I, well, I kept talking to my husband about how excited I am with this uh, course. And he said, yeah, go do it, you know? So, so I did. And then the next day it's like, I'm really excited. I was ready to tell him, I'm like, I'm really excited to join the course, but it's a little expensive. And he said, how much? I'm like, 3500 if you pay it up front, but you know, 997 if you don't. And then he said, well, I'm sorry, we don't have money. And he said, I'm sorry too, I already paid for it with my credit card. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, um, and I remember he looked at me and he's like, honey, um, I think the only way to really get money out there is to go out there and you know get a job. And I said, well, I'm gonna show you the other way, just give me six months. and. <laughs> And then he was very supportive. He was very supportive with me on this one. So, yeah. 
So yeah, the rest is history. And Grace, like, so if you don't mind sharing, how much have you done in the past 12 months in sales? Um, the past 12 months is over 500,000, like 500,000. Yeah. Yes. That's incredible. That's absolutely incredible. From starting, you basically started with $2,000 in the last year. You've done half yeah. a million dollars. That's yeah. absolutely incredible. Has yes. he forgiven you yet? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, way too long. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> I already bought him one of his like favorite thing, like a suppressor with his guns. He have a very expensive hobby, like you know, rifles and guns and all that stuff. So like, okay, <laughs> yeah. Well, he's in the army. Like, it's kind of probably goes with the territory, right? Navy, yes. Oh, navy. Oh, he's never going to speak to me again now, is he? <laughs> <laughs> he's a hunter, and <laughs> he likes hunting. So that's good. That's cool. So Grace, yeah. um, tell us a little bit also about how things went for you. We know that like this business, we're not going to tell everyone that day one or month one, you're going to be making tons and tons of sales right away, but your yeah. business really pushed hard at this. So tell us a little bit about your journey from beginning to now selling a half million over the past 12 months. Well, I, I think I shared with you last time, my first product is kind of like the shiny object, like Matt, Matt was talking. So um, I failed in that, you know, and then it was so hard to convince my husband after that, that you know this thing is really gonna work and it's like I, I keep telling him the system works it's just that I did not follow the guidelines of the you know and then I was kind of like oh this is gonna work and then the reviews in that was really too high and I just thought that I, I'm smart enough to figure it out myself and then I found out that the hard way that I wasn't really so <laughs> that's why um, I, I actually sold the product because that was around Christmas time when um, I actually reordered once just to get the money back and then sell it and on Christmas and then I did but I already went back to the drawing board and followed the guidelines and then I found a product that I was so excited and I'm like this is like you know I was very confident in that product and I launched it January 4 2015 that was like three years ago so this brand is actually three years old and then the moment the listing went live i sold two units and i'm like what happened here so remember i always tell you too like you know this is like i'm so excited you know this is really true like you know this is really real and then first year of that brand we were all over the world, like the place. Um, we went to Boise, Idaho, visiting family. We went to Montana. I'm traveling, but I can work on my car with my laptop. And then my husband also had a surgery in August that year. And then October, that 2015, we had to PCS. That's called permanent change of station when when uh, the military tells you, hey, you're done here, you're going to move to other place that we want you to move. So yeah, and then along the way, I still did, I think, over 100,000 that year on my first, yeah, it's amazing. And didn't you say <laughs> that pretty much during that time you had done nothing? Um, Just a really little bit. <laughs> like, I remember when that happened, you were talking about that to us. Uh, and then I want to point out something that, you know, it, I, I heard and it brought back a memory to me. Your first product that you're telling us, you felt like you picked the wrong product. It may not have been the right product. You thought you failed that product. You still sold out of it over Christmas time, right? Yes, um, because I joined around this time exactly four years ago when I joined. Um, so when I launched my product, that was around july and then i i started working on that the best i can because you know the product is already a failure so the rest of the uh, process i just followed and i also met a few mentors at the event and told me just sell it and then don't give up on it and then until you know until it is you know sold out and then it's just like you know it it did i just sold it out <laughs> so so i used that like a little bit of that money to start the next one so that's it's almost like it's full circle so you yes. were in a position where you weren't sure what to do you met some mentors uh, the asm mentors who helped you and told you what you needed to do and you followed their advice and now yes. you become a mentor yourself i know it's just you know i just wanted to give back and because you know it's 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 just nice <laughs> <laughs> 
That's perfect. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, you have another question? Um, I did. It's like, so, it's interesting you say it was four years ago that you joined, and you probably, I know you said you literally, as soon as Matt finished talking, he went and, like, tried to water. Um, but yeah. like, what advice do you have for people? You know, we've got a, a ton of people on this call that, you know, they haven't made their minds up yet. They're sitting on the fence. They're not sure whether to join, whether or not to join. What kind of advice do you have for them? Okay, well, when I was watching the three videos, I really didn't what I really didn't think of joining the, the course because I was just thinking, oh, I can do this myself, you know, like I'll, I'll do it myself. And then when, and I didn't have the money, even with my inventory, I didn't have the money. I was, when I joined the course, I told myself, I'm going to get, I'm going to cross the bridge when I get there, when it's time to order. But I know that if people are here, you you have dreams, you have goals, and you haven't quite figured out yet how to get there. And you're thinking that this might be the way. And you're probably here because um, you just wanted to gather information like what I was thinking before. But I would like to give an example. Let's say, for example, you wanted to go to a place. And let's say, let's just say um, you wanted to go to um, California and you're in Florida. There's a way, there's two ways for you to get there, either by plane or by car. So if you wanted to get there fast, um, you wanted to go by plane, you have to pay the price. And for me, it's ASM, that's my ticket. And that's, um, for me, that's a lifetime ticket. Let's say if you wanted to go by car, by road. So you never know what's ahead. It could be an accident ahead, it could be rerouted. So you're gonna be end up spending a lot of money because um, if you figured this uh, yourself, you have no idea or you have no experience or you have no support. Well, with ASM, the community is like the best asset. If you build a business with physical products, especially with Amazon, um, ASM community is like the best asset you can have. I so, actually love that analogy so much. We like, will be using I'm gonna, that analogy, yeah, I was gonna yeah. say, that's gonna be in ASM 10's uh, sales, <laughs> right at the top. Well, that it. is true. Because, um, and other than that, um, the community has the vault, you know, vault of resources. And this, um, this course is actually built by not only Mike and Rich or, you know, but a collective of millionaires that went through the same process. We all share. Um, did you remember one time, Mike, when, when one, I launched one of my products? And then the first review I got is like one star and I, I panicked. You have no idea what can do, one star can do to your products when you first launch. And I posted in the community, everybody jump in, everybody like, you know, like either encourage you and then Mike just, you know, told me what to do. And then I did that. The following day, this customer changed the review to five star. And I was <laughs> just blown away. And I'm like, yeah, so that's, you know, that's something that you should think about. Yeah, and that could have been any other person in the course. Uh, another, it could have been Rich, myself, Matt, Jason, another yeah. mentor like you, another regular member. Uh, and Grace, you're right. We have so many amazing people living and breathing in the community that you're now our mentor of. Um, and we have lots of people that thank you all the time, Gracie, too, for everything that you do in the community. Well, thank you. This is like a life changing for me. This is um, every time I would like to talk to Matt or or Jason at the event, and I would like to thank them. I can't because I get emotional, and you know I don't want to start it. I don't want to start anything. So you know, it's, I've I've taken my kids to vacation. I've okay. Last year we had a hurricane, and then it was kind of like, um, hi Jason. <laughs> How you doing? Last year there was a hurricane here, and my husband was deployed, and he said. Honey, you need to get out of there. I'm like, and if you don't know, by the way, I am scared of driving in the highway because I'm scared of big trucks. <laughs> so the only way for me to get out of here is to fly out of town. And I'm like, I was looking for a ticket. I'm like, oh, shoot. Yeah. I, where can I go? Where can I go where I can have the kids fun and, you know, we don't have to travel far. So Washington DC it is, and we stayed there for seven days. We had a lot of fun. The kids enjoyed everything we, we did there. So so now I, I won't be able to do that if 
you know, we don't have financial freedom. Well, and Jason's right here. Jason's right here. So you're not gonna get I emotional. Don't, don't get emotional. You <laughs> want to get emotional. <laughs> yes, thank you guys. Um, and also like being in the community, I, I see a lot of people welcoming when I welcome a lot of people. I see a lot of people that are already very successful in their own like some businesses, but then they still want this because time is the most freedom, you know, like the best freedom you can ever get. It's not just money. You can be working and be paid, but then you will be tied up, tied up on, on a job, your schedule. You won't have your own schedule. So I am always amazed when I welcome people in the community and, and what their background is and, and this is the one that is them. So yeah. That's it's awesome. Well, Amazing. Gracie, I'm going to step off here because. Uh, All right. Thank you. Know. you. <laughs> Gracie, thank you. I got a chance to like watch all your pictures you were posting while in DC. It was great seeing you and your daughter Athena and your family there enjoying it. Yeah. I didn't realize that was because of the storms coming and you were able to get out of there. So it, oh yeah, that even that was better. Really good too. And I have a passport and my um, my kids' passport ready because we're going to the Philippines this summer. Oh, congratulations! Oh, yes. Do, do do we get to say that ASM saved your, you and your family's life? Um, are you kidding? Do you have to, do you really have to ask me? <laughs> yes. Um, I'm really grateful. Even my husband. Okay. This is, this is funny. My husband talked about this a lot at his work. And then I got three of his bosses came over because they wanted to know how I do, how I did the business. And I'd be happy to, to really teach them, but they're just a little busy this time because deployments and all that stuff. So, so I'm sure they're going to come back. And then I'm also teaching one of the military spouse and she's last year, she made a hundred thousand. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. You know, so Gracie, thank you again. I remember that you were talking about that. If anyone here is watching uh, and you are a military spouse or you're a military member, uh, Gracie and her family are perfect examples of what yes. this business can do for you. Yes. Yes. This is amazing. Are well, Grace, I want to thank you so much uh, for joining us. Uh, again, I want to thank you for being a mentor, uh, helping out so many people. Anyone who's joining thank today. You, for, <laughs> you know, for promoting me. <laughs> I really love it. I really love being in the mentor. Well, we love having you there. And so anyone who's a member already on this call or who actually, uh, we're getting a little some feedback here. So let's see. Hold on one second. All right. So, Grace, um, anyone who's uh, going to be on this call and who has already joined or who may uh, become a member by tonight, by midnight, when it all closes, you'll get to see Gracie also in the community. She's one of the mentors. She's been welcoming hundreds of people as they join, uh, and she'll be answering questions now all throughout the length of the course, so the entire eight weeks of the course and beyond, because the mentors community, they don't go away. They're there for the entire time, even after your business is already up and successful. So Gracie, thank you very, very much. Uh, we love you, and we're going to see you real soon, and uh, have a great evening. All see you, right. Gracie. All right, so Rich, we're going to need to turn the volume back on in here so we can hear the next guest. Uh, and then, so speaking of our next guest, uh, we have another special person, all going to be special. I'm going to say that people. every time. People. We have two very special people joining us right now. Uh, they have a great story. They've actually appeared on the Rachel Ray Show. They've had a consultation with Barbara Corcoran, I believe is one of the sharks from the Shark Tank. Uh, and they do a crazy amount of money. They help tons of people. And we actually, yeah, it looks like they have a special guest Three on people. as well. Three people. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Paul and Rochelle Barron, welcome to the call. And first off, introduce us to this new special guest. Look over here. This is Leo. Look over Hi. Here. She's, she's looking at me. She's too busy looking this at me. This way. Okay. Maybe she'll see herself on. And she'll oh, there we go. Hi. Oh, look at that <laughs> smile. That is awesome. <laughs> yeah. This is Lael. She is nine months old. She was actually the reason why we weren't in Vegas at the, uh, the last live event in July. <laughs> She is precious. That is awesome. So Paul, Rochelle, and Leo. Oh, look at that. She's doing that's like the ASM fist pump. Love yeah. it. Awesome. Fist bump. Yeah. So, uh, Paul, Rachel, Rochelle, thank you uh, join, for joining us here. Uh, thank you for all you do in the community. You guys help out a ton as well. Uh, like Paul was mentioning, 
They got a chance to go down to Orlando and actually speak on stage. It was great seeing Paul kind of do his thing. Uh, you've really come a long way, Paul. But, you know, instead of me saying that, why don't you share with us a little bit about how you got started selling on Amazon? I will let Rochelle talk because I tend to dominate the conversation. So I'll let her. No. <laughs> I know, right? No. Um, Paul was working at a restaurant and trying to start a different business at the time that we found out about the Amazing Selling Machine. And so he, I am not a risk taker, like by any means. So like he was telling me like, I found this really cool thing that we should do. And my first response was like, no, we're not gonna spend a ton of money that we don't have on this thing that may not work. <laughs> And he actually probably did it without telling me. I don't even remember. <laughs> no, you gave me the go ahead. Oh. No, you gave me the go ahead because I wouldn't have done it if you didn't. If you said no. Yeah. <laughs> so we went ahead and did it in uh, 2015. So yeah, we're, it's about three years ago. Yeah. And um, now we have two kids instead of just one, and we're both able to stay home with them, and we can choose to send them to daycare or not. You know, because each we each kind of need our own space. <laughs> yeah. So you guys both work in the business, right? Yeah. yeah. She, and so how do you how do you, you as a couple? How do you how do you like split the different activities up? Um, I handle all the harebrained marketing schemes, and uh, <laughs> I do I I <laughs> am over like the public relations and uh, marketing and all that stuff, um, sales generation yeah. and things. Rochelle is, I guess, logistics, if you will. So I'm the brains and <laughs> he just didn't and, want to say it, Michelle. Yeah, and the brakes, if you will. Yeah. We just finished the launch, and I made him stop because we spent a lot of money on advertising. Right. <laughs> but we are uh, because of this launch, like we're over a hundred percent of our revenue this time last year. That wow. is awesome. So, uh, what did you guys? Oh, so, if you're doing that great now, what did you do last year? Uh, so, last year we finished the year like our total combined income between website sales and Amazon was about four hundred and eighty thousand. So, um, half a million dollars. Yeah. So there's a theme. Um, you guys did half a million. Gracie did half a million, and both you guys started the course without asking your spouse. So well, that's the, uh, so secret. I did. I did ask her. So kind of how it played out was. Uh, our son just woke up from his nap. <laughs> um, how it, how it played out was our good friend Nate McHenry. Well, my my he's a, he's become a better friend now because of just the the community. I went to high school with him, saw his posts, kept me up at night, and I decided that it was too good to be true. And um, ended up my older sister messaged me, private messaged me on Facebook, and said that she thought that I could do it. So I gave it a second look. And I showed it to Rochelle, and I had basically decided that I was going to do it, and I just needed her to agree with me. And I'm pretty sure that that was why she said I could do it, because she knew that I had like made the decision that I was going to do it. Um, so, yeah. So it wasn't <clears throat> didn't say yes. It was that she, the only option for her was say no. <laughs> So, you know, so when you, you made the decision, you know, back uh, four years ago to, to do this, how much did you have to invest in your inventory to start off? Yeah. So it was actually, yeah, three years ago. Um, three years ago, yeah. I yeah. So we invested our, our, we did 1800 our first inventory order. Wow. And we actually put our first inventory order on a credit card, which I don't recommend doing for anyone. <laughs> but it was what got us started and it got us to the point where we can both. <laughs> Again, work from home and support ourselves in three years, which is crazy to think about because most startups fail within the first five years, and all we're doing is growing right. and growing and growing. And we're really not like adding, like some people are really aggressive about the products that they're adding, but we have our like flagship product. And, and we just keep making and we more just of it. Keep, keep making more of it. So, like you had mentioned, I had we had the ability to or the opportunity to meet with Barbara Corcoran from Shark Tank, mm -hmm. um, and I kind of take my mentorship wherever I can get it. And some of the things, like Laura Grenier actually says, oh. she talks about hero products. And when you have a hero, you focus on that hero, and you keep making the hero better, or you make more of that. And one of the things that we did early on was 
instead of diversifying, we narrowed. So we were really deep in one category in baby. So instead of like expanding into like every opportunity within baby, we've really made our brand very, very, very specific. And uh, yeah, so it was the $1,800 that we spent. Um, for me, putting it on the credit card backed me into a corner because again, you mentioned, or she mentioned, I was working nights as a waiter. Um, I was trying to start a web development uh, company during the day. Uh, and that was like 60 hours, you know, j just on that job plus another 15 to 20 nights. So for me, um, the only option that we had was that we needed, we were going to succeed. So well, that was, yeah. It sounds like you guys have. I mean, uh, looking back, uh, are you guys happy with the choice? And I, I know it's like a rhetorical question. <laughs> I would be kicking myself if I didn't make that choice. I thought, what I take you back to, um, I know Mike mentioned it, you just mentioned it there. Like if you could uh, as briefly as possible, like explain how did you end up on the Rachel ratio and how did you get a consultation with Barbara Corcoran? So I found a contest on Facebook there. I guess it was just an ad and I send it to Paul because he's a better writer than I am. Um, and he entered for us and we actually forgot that we entered and then Paul got an email and a phone call from the um, producer at the Rachel Ray show asking if we could come to New York and be on the show. Um, so we flew out, we were on the show um, in November of 2015, no, 2016. 2016. And then they aired the show in December and then we went back in January to meet with Barbara Corcoran um, in, in 2017. Yeah, so basically a year ago now. So, yeah, I mean, it was just kind of one of those things where it was a random opportunity that we saw. And Paul, like, is like a little fanboy for Barbara Corcoran and Shark Team. And so, like, he was super excited about it. And I'm just, you know. On the, on the airing, I, I said I love her. Yeah. And <laughs> I love you, Barbara. In our meeting, she said, if I, had, if I had realized that she would have said that, she would have really hopped on to that. <laughs> I guess she didn't hear it, so. Yeah. So was that meeting with Rachel Ray and Barbara tied to your new business? Yeah. So it was because of our business growth that um, we basically won this contest because of ASM. So like it's abnormal for companies to grow. You know, our first year, our first six months, we did 50 grand, which is a lot of money, normal speak. Um, like in this industry, it's not a ton, but it's our first six months was 50 grand. Our next full year was about 250,000. And so that sort of thing like in the in the contest world is huge in the normal business world that is a huge amount of success and so um, at, the, at the same at the same time of entering this contest we had really focused a lot on building our social media presence and reaching out to bloggers and we had gotten on different TV shows so that kind of helped it but really it was ASM I mean following the system and the, and the fact that our business grew so quickly it was yeah. So, uh, so one of the things you know we always talk about is the training in ASM. Um, tell, tell us a little bit about what you think about the community and the support from the different members inside of the, uh, the ASM program. I love it. Um, I mean, early on, uh, again, because I, I went full bore into this. Like, I was on the community, posting in the community, like five to ten times a day. Um, I was so in it, and every question that I had. I mean, I still remember like Elaine Drennan was constantly answering my questions. And I think at the time, Rich, you were you were also more involved in like answering people's questions too. And you still are now, but it, I know that you answered a bunch of my questions. And um, so there's like the the community that ASM builds and the mentors. And then there's also like the, almost the sub communities that you find, if you will. So like we went to the live, the first live event that we were able to go to was in Austin in 2016. So this was just prior to us, the Rachel Ray and all that thing. And we had made some really good connections there that we still are really good friends with to this day. Like, And we're still working with them and trying new things with them. And that's part of what's great about the community is because Amazon is always changing. You always you have to stay in the community to stay successful and stay on top of those changes because, you know, there's different th different strategies that used to work that aren't working now. And so you have to be in the community mm -hmm. to hear about those new changes and to, you know, cause not everyone is, um, 
to date. Up to date or, you know, an idea person. Like, I'm not an idea person. I'm good at implementing and following other people's ideas. Yeah. And so that's what's really helpful for us in the community is yeah. seeing those. And Paul is able to share his ideas. <clears throat> he's the idea person. It's 6 o'clock. <laughs> so, I could but, yeah, I mean, like, so I mean, the other thing as well, like Paul, like obviously, since you first started, you've grown a lot, you're learning a lot, you've learned a lot, and you're, I mean, like you're helping us too. Like you, you know, we talk on, on Facebook, and you'll tell me something that you've seen, and we look into it, and that's how the whole community and the, the SM mentors works. It's like we get so much information from our members, like Paul, that we get to look into, and they investigate it, and that's how we're able to keep everything up to date. You know, in the community, as Paul said, it's like we're there to make sure. Anything, any little change, we, we keep you advised of. And it's people like Paul that, um, that help us do this. But um, we've been asking pretty much everyone this, so far this question, and it's, what would you say to people that, are, that have not quite made the decision to jump in yet? Like, what, what would your advice be for them? You're going to kick yourself if you don't. Like, for real. It's one of those things that, um, I think Eric said this earlier, like, you know, that he, he said something to the effect of, you know, don't focus on what you can't do if, you know, you need to focus on what you can do and what you will do. And there's another quote that I had heard something along the lines of, and Jeff Bezos says this, that, you know, think of when you're on your deathbed and you look back at your life, you're not going to kick yourself for the things that you did, but you, you're going to kick yourself for the, the opportunities that you missed and the things that you could have done. And um, so for me, just don't, put yourself in a position where you're going to kick yourself for missing an opportunity that you could have taken that changed your life. And, um, yeah. For me, I would say the course walks you through step by step so specifically that even if you move slowly, as long as you take action every day, you're going to move forward and you're going to be successful. Yeah. Not only that, but the course is the best on the market and the community is the re I feel like the course is the best. This is the this is the bar that sets the standard, and the community that makes it's just everything that goes together. There's nothing like the ASM course or community out there. So, thank you. Yeah. All right, Paul, Rochelle, uh, Lael, I think her Lael. name was. Lael and Bo. Uh, all of you. Oh, and then your son's over there too. Yeah. So uh, thank you guys all for joining us today. Thank you again. Like Rich said, not only for you know joining us on this call here, but the time that you put into the community, to helping other people, to people in the whole Colorado area where you live. I know you guys get together there as well. So thank you guys so much. We'll let you get back to your family time and uh, we'll get ready for our next guest here. But thank, thank you guys, guys so much. Thank you guys. All right. So I think if you don't mind, get out of here. I'm going to get out of here and let uh, <laughs> introduce. Mr. Jason Katzenbach, come back here. Hey, buddy. So our next guest has actually um, become a good friend of both Jason and I, and she's only been doing this business for about six months. Um, and one of the amazing things about her is I think, I'm pretty sure that it's the quickest we've ever made someone an ASM mentor. And it's, it's not just the success she's had, it's actually everything she's done in the community to help all her uh, fellow members. So I'd like to welcome Anne Ferris, you want to say hello, Anne? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> now, Anne's really nervous. Well, she says she is, but she's not really. I'm really nervous. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. But um, she's becoming a natural at this. She's been, like, I think this is the third time we've had you on a call, so you should be good by now. We'll see. How is beautiful Costa Rica treating you right now? Costa Rica is great. It's hot. I'm in the right now. That's it. Yeah. It's very warm and sunny. Now, I heard Matt saying that he's coming to Tamarindo. I live in Tamarindo. So he's, there's no hiding, Matt. I heard you. You admitted it. Yeah. I think he forgot that you were on the call. Yeah. So I see him sing, signaling to me 100 committed to hooking up with you. Pina coladas. <laughs> cool. Yes. So I guess, like, you know, you haven't been doing this all that long. I know. When did you first launch your product? I launched, so my product arrived in about the middle of November or October. And then I, I actually didn't, I launched in the beginning of November. Cool. So it's 
six months. So I want to back up for a second here because I want people to know who you are, your backstory a little bit. So I got to know you a little bit. So you used to be in law and then you kind of you wanted to make a life change and you ended up moving to Costa, Costa Rica. Costa we pronounce Rica. it right. Oh, okay. Anyway, <laughs> so maybe tell that story about what got you to the point as to what made you buy ASM or why you bought ASM. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I was a corporate lawyer and I had that job where um, I worked for one of the biggest law firms, actually the biggest law firm in the world. Um, so I had that job that was the thing that everybody's going to, you know, that it, it's like the dream job and wow, you're so smart and you make so much money. And, and I did make a bunch of money, uh, but it was miserable. It was the worst time um, in my whole life. I worked 22 hours a day. I slept in the office. My skin was like see-through white. And I got to the point where I couldn't take it anymore. And I hopped on a plane and, and bought a hostel in Costa Rica. Um, and that was fun. I um, And I, then I partied for a few years. I enjoyed my my single time. And, and that's what I was doing for a while. Um, and then and then I met my partner Elias, and we had uh, our our son Kai, and that for me was the point when everything changed. When I when I had my son, and I I just realized, for me personally, that being a mom that was it, and I just wanted to be at home all the time. I love being a mom so much. I had another baby like five seconds later, and it was when I was pregnant with <laughs> when I was pregnant with my daughter. We you know. It's seasonal here, and I just really didn't feel that we were making enough money to sustain a whole family and two kids going forward. Um, and I knew someone who did ASM and was doing really well. And um, the fact that you could do it from home, that you could do it whenever you needed to, because it, anyone with little kids knows, like um, Rochelle and I, we met at the at the meeting who was just at the event who was just on, and, and we talk about how hard it is to focus with kids. So um, I wanted something that I could do whenever, and I I found out about the course right before it shut. So kind of like some of the people who were on this call, and I just knew I I kind of thought you know if my friend could do it, I can do it, right? If he can do it, I can do it. And screw it, like just go for it. Um, and that's what I did without really thinking too much. Um, and and the great thing was I had no prior conceptions of, you know, my, my friends who were interested in doing the course, what everybody says to me is, well, what product or what product am I going to sell? I don't know. You sell anything you want. I had zero idea um, of what I wanted to sell. I'd never even thought of selling on e-commerce before. But I think that that is almost better because you come in without any ideas in your head and you just follow the training. And some of it can seem like, oh, well, I could stretch here. I really like this thing. But your first product, like Jason, Mike, Rich, Matt, these guys know what they're doing for many, many years, made tons of millionaires out of this business. If you listen to them, then it's going to go well. Um, and so that's what I did. I just followed the training. I watched it, you know, an hour a day or whatever and did my work. And mm. I'm glad, I'm glad you asked that question. Yes, because it's a great story. Well, it helps people who are on the fence right now too, like relate to a story. And it's, you know, because everyone, like we have people that as soon as we open the doors, they jump in right away and they just know. And then there's other people, it's, you know, it's a big investment. There's no doubt about that. And it's like, but we put a lot into this. You get that value plus more. You know, you look at university <laughs> educations, you're paying, you know, minimum of about, you know, what twenty thousand dollars a year? I feel like it's, and that gets you one year. Like with this, you get a whole life, and that's the thing. Like now you know how to do this. You could do it over and over again. Like it doesn't matter if you're one brand. Suddenly, for some reason, something happens. Like okay, I can just start again, and I know this skill. So it's something you can just carry with you, which is really cool. That is really cool. That's another thing that I have told you know any of my friends who've been interested um, is that you get. You get these videos forever. For ASM9, you watch the course, you always have that, but you get the updated videos as well, which for e-commerce is absolutely priceless because this space, not only Amazon, but but any online business um, is always changing. And Amazon especially, they love to make new rules without telling anybody. I mean, I've only been doing this six months and I've learned that. And 
when that happens, it's amazing because Mike just goes and figures everything out right away and then <laughs> tells us what to do. Um, and then you guys like this time have, have rewritten the course and I'm going to be right there watching the course. I mean, I kind of have to now, but, um, as a mentor, but I'm also going to be watching for my business because things change like Amazon no longer allows, um, reviews for giveaways. So we, you know, there's a whole new launch system that you guys taught us and it's, um, that's so invaluable, I think, because it's not like you you tell us what to do and then we go and figure it out and then in six months everything is different and we're lost. It's a continuous support, you know, from the technology side and then also, you know, the friendship side of everybody in the community. That's huge, Erin. I just want to thank you for clarifying that because even when some people say, oh, you can, you know, because you could go on Amazon right now and maybe buy a book, but that book is probably six months old at least and the thing is like in six months so much change and plus it doesn't really like you can't put in a book how to do this like there's things changing all the time as you said like like right there like something happens right away bang we're in the system we figure it out we update the training like everything and every year we make sure the training is 100 percent updated and every six months we make sure it's at least 50 percent updated um and obviously we would do more if it needed to be 100 percent because so much changed we would change it uh, but we're going above and beyond because we even try to figure out how to make the current videos just that much better. Um, so thank you for recognizing that. Um, so you are right now six months into this? Yes. And you've generated so far how much? Um, 80, a little over $80,000. So, and in your first month, well, how long did it take you to, uh, get to some sales like when you first got your product live how long was it until all of a sudden it just started making sales um for me it was actually right away because uh i my i launched my product arrived in november so that's a really great time of year for sales because you have black friday um and so right away in my first month i did thirteen thousand eight hundred dollars in sales <laughs> Cool. So that was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Easy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and, and timing for that, like that is one thing we can say is Amazon, first of all, has created a shopping season in the summer now where they call it to Amazon Prime Day, which is so awesome if you sell on Amazon. Believe me, all the sellers are excited for that day. But then come, you know, Cyber Monday, Black Friday, and just right up until like two days before Christmas, it's just fun. Cause you're just like selling, 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 you know, and, and that's the thing too. Like you want to have an even amount of product, like so that you have constant sales throughout the year, but no matter what, like Christmas, it's going to explode mid season prime day. It's going to explode. And it's just, it's such a cool thing. So I, I do have one thing I want to bring up. So in those six months, how much time were you out of inventory and not able to sell? <laughs> I knew you were going to, I knew that's what was coming. Um, I have been out of stock probably six weeks of those six months. Um, so first in the beginning, my product, um, I order it, I really control the whole process. So I order it um, from a very beginning stage and it takes six weeks for them to make it and then plus shipping. So um, when my first inventory order sold out so fast and then my second as well, I placed the order right away, but it just still wasn't enough to to, to get in before I sold out. Um, so that, the first time I was out for almost two weeks, but I, I was back in stock in December, and so that was Christmas season as well, and it just went, you know, selling tons of stuff. And then I made another order right away in, uh, what well, was like my fourth order or something, and my supplier said to me, well, okay, we'll put the order in now, but it's Chinese New Year, and the, the, one of the factories closes for a month. And so I, what? <laughs> and it was the factory at the first stage. So um, then February was my best month ever. I had uh, $28,000 in sales. Um, and I wasn't even doing any ads or any promotions or any discounts because I knew I was going to run out. Um, so that was like a 42% um, margin for me that month. And then, and then of course I ran out right before the event. So I was dying. I went to the live event and I didn't have any products in stock and I was out for 32 days. I only just got back in stock on Friday 
I had a big celebration. I messaged Rich about 400 times. And how, how much have you, how many, uh, what have you made in revenue over the last two days? Well, over the last two days, like 2,300 in the last two days. In the last, I've been in back in stock in a week. It took me a couple days to keep going, but I've done like almost 5,100 this week. Cool. Fantastic. It's so good it's back. And I'm, and yeah, as you're saying, you're messaging me and I could, uh, it's not often you can get emotions through text, um, but I, I certainly knew how happy you were, that's for sure. So yeah. you're all getting it so that that inventory is constantly in and add another product as soon as you can. That's yeah. my opinion, man. You're going to rock it. That's so awesome. Yeah. Um, I'm working on it. <laughs> so uh, we've got people that, you know, like the doors are closing. We're, we've got bonuses that are coming off the table. Um, there, There's there's a lot of um, emotion getting into this because there's a big investment to join. And I'd love you to share, like, what was your experience? Cause you kind of talked about it um, for those people that are sitting there like, should I do this? Should I do this? Um, just, just if you were sitting across the table from them right now, what would you say to them? Um, I, I understand a hundred percent that it is a really big investment, especially if you don't just have a hunk of money sitting in the bank. I didn't, um, I borrowed the money from my mom. Um, and I think I know that it's scary, but nothing in life worth doing was ever easy because otherwise it wouldn't be worth doing. And I think that it's true um, what what people have said. If you're if you're on this call, you're thinking about changing your life, and and if you've got something missing, this is a great way to do it. I think sometimes what people don't really understand is the is that this is building a real business. Even though it's online, it's still a real business asset that you can sell that people want to buy right now for um, a lot of money and. Uh, in any normal business, I mean, in my in my hostel, I have um, hundreds of thousands of dollars invested, and the return that I'm getting back on that is w way less already than what I'm getting after a few months on Amazon. And and the great thing about this business is that the sky is the limit. There's no limit to how well you can do. You cannot put that much time in when you're busy. I have two babies under two years old at home with me full time and I run another business. So some days I do 15 minutes um, and that's fine. And if you have the time to really go in all in full time, man, then you can be selling a million dollars in, in a year, two years. Um, so I think if you're thinking about it, that's all, you know, take the leap because the this course it gives you the whole way to get through from zero to a hundred. You go from having, I mean, I can't even use a computer. I barely can turn on word. I made a bunch of friends. My best ASM friend, um, Steve is because I knew he was good with technology and I'm not. So I messaged him and he helps me with Facebook stuff. But, um, the course really rich and Mike really make it foolproof. Even if you have no idea what you're doing, you can't use a computer. Um, you've never done marketing before. You know, some people are like, oh, I have this SEO background. I'm like, wow, good for you. I like my law degree gave me nothing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nothing but debt, anyway. But uh, the, <laughs> the course takes you from the first step, how to choose a product, what are the fine details of doing this, to even you know, the very fine details of this is how you speak to a freight forwarder, this is how the best way to talk to a supplier and then all the way up to advanced marketing techniques and scaling your business and hiring employees and you have it forever. So it's not like a university course, which you would pay more than $4,000 for anyway, um, where you go, you sit, okay, learn this stuff. And then you leave and you're like, wait, what was I doing? And try to implement that the way the course is, is you finish the course and your business is going. And it still feels weird to me that I have, an e-commerce business, like it almost doesn't feel real, except when when people message me, I just got a message today from a giveaway that we did, I'm actually organized by Paul and Michelle, and the woman is super happy, and she sent me a really cute picture of her and her baby, and I'm like, ah, that's crazy, you know, it's me, it's my stuff that I made, that's my company that, you know, and then there's the iPhone app, which just tells you how much money you're making, and it's like the most fun money video game ever. 
That, that, that was a fantastic answer. Thank you. That was fantastic. Um, <laughs> anything else you got? No, no, not really. It's I keep like I know Anne pretty well oh. now, and it's like, difficult to remember. So um, one thing I wanted to ask, so like inventory wise, you know, so people are sitting there like, what, what about managing inventory? Like I don't see you in an office with inventory around you right now. No, I definitely don't. And actually, the um, the import taxes in Costa Rica are very high, so I never I never touch my inventory um, at all. I just get samples here. That was another thing when I when I heard about ASM because I was thinking what are other ways that I can stay in Costa Rica where I love it here, um, but make more money. And this is really not you know it's it's a small Central American country. It's not an easy place to make money you know unless you're in an office or something. Um, and I didn't want to do that. So when I found out um, that you could do this from anywhere, that was a huge appeal to me. Um, I, you know, there's some people who their dream is to, you know, make money and go somewhere. I was kind of already here and I went the other way wanting to make money. But um, it's it's really easy to do everything from abroad, communicating with your suppliers, um, communicating with Amazon. I you literally run your entire business from a laptop. Then. Yes. But most uh, of the time, my phone. Your phone. That's even better. So like that, that's, you know, something I want to let people know. So she can do this in, you know, in a tropical nation that really is, you know, not the easiest for doing that and sell everything in the States. Like that's, if you live in the States, especially it's that much easier because you can get the inventory sent to you if you want. We do actually recommend the first time you order, you probably want to get definitely samples, always samples, but at least, you know, it, it's sometimes good to get the first batch sent to your house so that you can inspect everything and make sure it's good. But even if you don't want to do that, there's freight forwarders, there's a bunch of services that will inspect everything for you. Um, and we provide you all those resources, all of the guidance in the membership. And the cool thing is, and we have on here who is such a rock star and inspiring right now, she's a mentor. So she's a mentor in the community. So she's one of those people that's sitting there saying, I know where you're coming from. And she's proof that this is a real deal right now. People ask about that. They're like, is this outdated? You know, you guys have been doing this long. Look, she just did this it's six months old, her business. Like that's all it is. And it's growing and exploding. She's running out of inventory, putting her inventory back in and it's growing right away again. This is real right now. Amazon is growing so fast. It's absolutely exploding. This is the time to be on it. And you get people like Rich, Mike, all of our team, all the support, all the training. But our mentors, like truly, truly our mentors are so invaluable where you get that inspiration. And not just for questions about running the business. Often, you know, you're going to get You're going to start one day. And you're going to get that bad review. You're going to get a supplier that falls through on you right at the last minute. So Mike. Mike. Can feedback. No, we are getting feedback. Okay, it's gone now. Okay, we're good. Um, oh man, and I was on a roll. You were. That was so oh, I see Anna's like crying. She's like <laughs> so now I'm that, I've lost, oh, well. <laughs> lost that fun. So do you have anything else? Um I think I think the other thing um to mention is that it's fun. It is really fun. Partly it's fun because it's not that hard and because it's broken down into steps. So um, when I found myself at certain points getting a little overwhelmed, I just went, okay, I'm going to go one thing at a time and not worry about the big picture, but do one thing. But um, speaking to everybody in the community is fun. Learning a new skill is fun. It's a whole bunch of new skills. Um, you really get to flex your creative muscle as much as you want. If you don't want to, that's fine. Um, but you can have input into your design, you have input into your graphics. Um, you know, I, I've also had a lot of fun connecting. My product is for people like me. And so through my brand, social media, I've connected with women that way, with friends of mine here. Um, it's enjoyable. It's not that I wake up and I'm like, God, I gotta do my, you know, one hour of Amazon time today. It's awesome. And and it's exciting, and especially when I get new designs in, and that's fun. Um, and you guys are fun. Everybody's like pretty crazy, so so that's that's really um, enjoyable. And I was really surprised. That's the important. <laughs> thing. 
When I was at the live event, you know, I, I was fortunate to sit up with the mentors and I met a lot of the speakers and like Paul and Rochelle um, and Charity and Ben and, and a bunch of other people. And these are all people who are doing, you know, at least a million, a few million dollars a year in sales and Mike and Rich and everybody and, and the other mentors and everyone is just buzzing. Everyone's so, because they're happy. It's a whole bunch of happy people who are also successful, but mostly they're happy because they have freedom in their lives and they enjoy what they do. On top of that, they don't have to worry financially and everyone's just happy and helping each other. Um, my partner, Elias, when I started this was like, had no interest, computer stuff, no, he's an outdoor guy. And um, when I started, when, when he came to the event and he, like, he met everybody, he's like, man, I gotta do Amazon. And now he's telling me every day, he's like waiting for the videos to come out. He's into it now. That's awesome. That's awesome. You know, I want to hit on something real quick and then we're going to let you go because we don't want to take up your whole day. But, you know, we've been talking about who the amazing sound machine is for, like the type of person, if you want that. But, you know, like, I guess I want to kind of hit on what do we think like it's not for, because to me, you know, this isn't for people that want a, an easy red button that all the work will be done for. Um, you know, it's not for someone that wants uh, a community where it's just constantly giving to you and you don't ever have to give back and share. Um, it, it's not for someone that um, is just into like just making money now and doesn't really care about like if they hurt anyone or if they make a bigger impact on the world. Like what we want and what we're all about is, first of all, we want to build people. We want people to be able to change their lives. But we know that for people to be able to change their lives, first of all, they have to be committed. They have to know that like I can do this. They have to believe in themselves and they have to go through the training. They have to sit there and be dedicated and say, I can do this. I will follow this system. And by following the system, as you hear from Ansett, we guide you step by step through that system. And then once you're on the other side of the system, it's not just that you just went through training. You now are skilled. You got skills. You can <laughs> now create a business like in multiple different ways that has an exponential amount of growth because Amazon is growing so much. And in fact, like Amazon, like Germany, like going Europe and everything, you don't even have to worry about, Oh, I better diversify it and go off of Amazon. No, 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 no. You focus on Amazon. You keep putting products and you start expanding international. And then when you get to a point where your sales aren't continuously going skyrocketing, then maybe look at going off of Amazon, but there's so much potential here. Um, it, it's just absolutely inc incredible. So, you know, if you're the type of person that is willing to put in the work, who is willing to take the training and ask the questions, get involved. If there's something you're not sure of, don't sit there and it <clears throat> doesn't make sense. Ask a question. You want to get involved in the community. And if you're the type of person that can dedicate time every day, meaning just an hour or like Ann said, if you only have 15 minutes, at least go over your notes again and make sure, okay, I'm clear on what I have to do the next time I have time to be able to sit at my computer. Just dedicate yourself like that. And this is the type of results you get because those are the kind of things that Ann did. It was about being dedicated and not just trying it. I don't like, I don't want to ever tell anyone, just try it. Just do it and watch what happens. Make sure you go in and do the training, implement everything, and you will love the results. Um, and like, I know like Anne, it wasn't, it didn't, wasn't just like this for Anne either. Like early on, she did have some issues. She contacted us, she got help from the mentors, and then boom, like she was off and running. So it's for me, yeah, it's I, always, go ahead. I definitely didn't, I wasn't the first one in my class. I think, you know, people can start racing each other. And I wasn't the first in my class to get a product up. I was probably one of the last, you know, a lot of people were up after two or three months. And, and, uh, you know, I, I also was really pregnant at the time and it took me six months, really? but then just a little, just a little bit really pregnant, really pregnant. Um, and so, but during that time I developed my brand assets and I, I developed my, my other branding, um, and so by the time I was ready to go, I was ready to go. I also, I want to give a shout out. I have three powerful um, women friends on this call who are thinking about doing it. Um, so you guys should to Carrie and Sheer and Alexis. Hey girls. <laughs> Carrie, Sheer and Alexis, join, join now. Yeah, Rich is going to be looking for you. There you go. No, she <laughs> just committed you. <laughs> Awesome. Well, and thank you so much. We appreciate you so much. And um, I, you know, we just, Thank you. Uh, thank you for being so exciting about it. 
Like, I love the energy you bring because of the joy it brings you. And, and like that, that's what this is all about. Like just seeing someone, you know, feeling like their life is just so much more free and happy and good for you. It makes us very happy. Thanks guys. All right. We'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye. All right, that was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah, she's, 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 she's a rock star. Yeah, yeah. So who do we have up next? Christy. Christy Verity. Christy awesome. Verity. Awesome. Is she ready to go? I'm ready. Oh, I heard a voice. Oh, I'm not seeing a voice. video. I can't I see any video pop-up thingy. Jeez, that oh. sounds like... Oh, oh, hang on. It's over here. Oh, somebody made me get two screens. I've never been the same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so rubbish. Wait, hey! <laughs> it was over there. <laughs> How are you How doing? How do I do this business? <laughs> yeah, I'm doing good. <laughs> is there is the snow all gone? Yes, it's oh, hot ish. Well, you know, it's hot for Canada, so I feel really hot now, so it's brilliant. Sun was out today. Happy days. Yeah, very cool, very cool. So yeah. Chris, you've been with us how many years now? Uh, about four and a half years. Four and a half years, and you're one. Yeah, you, you, you're our lifestyle um, example. You know, it was, and it's funny <clears> to see now, like you're settled down, you're in a relationship, got a home. <laughs> but you know, when you started this business, um, tell us that story because it's really cool. Because you know, we talk about lifestyle and freedom, and you know, for some people, if really you just want something that's going to give you the freedom to be able to spend time with your kids each day, that's awesome. But then there's those other people like Kirsty who like had freedom and she wanted to travel. She wanted to go around the world and just do something from a laptop. So maybe don't let me ruin anything or tell anything. Oh, you tell the story. <laughs> yeah. So um, I was um, in a corporate job and somebody was asking me about this the other day. And uh, somebody said to me, you know, what, what did it feel like to be in that job and want to get out? And I said, if anybody's watched Ali McBeal, Remember that show? Um, I sat in a boardroom one day and I just had one of those out of body experience moments where I just saw myself pirouetting around the boardroom table and just going, I don't care anymore in my head. And I thought there's something wrong in there. I've got to sort this out. So um, I started to look at different ways that I could do something different, right? Because I was like, I was in my late thirties at the time and I was like, I can't do this for another however long, right? No way, I just can't do it. Um, and the big thing that really hit for me was the freedom part, as you said, Jason, because I love traveling. I mean, I moved to Australia uh, 14 years ago. I went traveling around in a camper van uh, for a year. I went to Asia first. And for me, I went to one of those seminars, you know, where you're trying to find yourself for a weekend. And uh, somebody mm -hmm. said, you know, when was, the, when was the last time you ever felt content? Not like massively happy, but just like content. And I was like, you know what, it was like 10 years ago when I was uh, traveling and it, that really hit home to me. And I was like, I've got to find something that gives me the option to be able to do that. Um, so I, went, I started with real estate, which obviously didn't give me that option. I started with, um, I started to do websites, which did give me the option, but I had no idea how to do it, you know, driving the traffic and everything. And then literally you guys just popped up when I'd kind of gone through that journey and it just felt like home. I was like, this makes so much sense because not only will it give me the freedom from, you know, I'll be working from a laptop, but Amazon does everything else, right? So I don't have to look at the inventory. I don't have to manage the factory, you know, literally next door. You know, I don't have to work with warehouses. Uh, all I have to do is make sure that I can work online with Amazon and have Wi-Fi anywhere in the world. And that's what really appealed to me about it. And having tried everything else, it just made complete sense. Um, yeah, so that's why I did it. And I started, I actually bought ASM1, um, which was like March 2013, I think. Yeah. But I was still, <laughs> yeah, I was still <laughs> working at the time. And I was just like, you know what, this is just going to work. I just know it's going to work. I hadn't started doing the course. I think I'd watched module one. And I was like, this is just going to work. I just need to get out. So. I actually negotiated a redundancy with which we call which you call severance with my uh, employer at the time, and so it was great for me because I got like a year's salary, which gave me um, you know a bit of comfort. And I was like, right, okay, well, I might as well live the life before I kind of started the life. <laughs> so I took some of that <laughs> some of that cash and I went to Bali to set it up. 
because I was like, well, I'm going to be a millionaire, right? I'm going to live the lifestyle. <laughs> and Bali was cheap, so I didn't have to be a millionaire. But So that's why I went there. But um, I wanted to kind of, for me, it was more like a spiritual transition. I mean, I'm not that spiritual really, but I needed the tra- physical and spiritual transition. So I needed to kind of move myself away from one thing to another um, and kind of start living the way I wanted to live. I'm a bit extreme, as you probably know by now, but so that's what I needed to do. So yeah, went to Bali and proved to myself not only the business, but the lifestyle as well at the same time. And I haven't yeah. stopped since. Yeah. And so how long did it take in Bali before like you realized like this is working? Oh, it took me about three weeks because I I spent the first two weeks going through the modules. I got a co- I got a founder supplier in Alibaba. I didn't see the product. Uh, I saw a picture. I was like, yeah, that looks good. Um, and then <laughs> I was like, yeah, don't do that, by the way, people. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just sharing what I did. I was like, oh, yeah, that's cool, because I didn't know where I was going to be for them to send it to me. And as you was, I think somebody was saying earlier about the cost of the product, it wasn't a massive cost. I think it cost me like a dollar fifty. So I wasn't that's too worried. When you started, like we didn't even talk about freight forwarders and stuff then. Like it was all like we were like all figuring this stuff out together back then. It was really powerful. Like we had the training we knew that worked, but then by the community, which is a really important thing. I just want to yeah. intercept for a quick second here, is when you're getting this, that's what the power of becoming this community is. It's not only are you learning what's in the training. Everyone learns from each other and the community people share, well, I tried this, but this worked better. So it's constantly evolving in that way. It's yeah, really interesting that you did that because back then a lot of people did it. A lot of people didn't even look at the inventory. They just shipped it right there. And yeah, yeah. don't do that. No, don't well, do that now. <laughs> what I love about the story though, is that like we always have, we have success stories on all the time. And the question we always want to ask them is, you know, how long was it? And what people want to know, how long was it before you quit your job? And you quit your job before you started. Yeah. <laughs> that actually, if you want to know what Kirsty's like, that pretty much sums her up. So she is yeah. a little bit crazy and she goes for it, but it works for her. So, yeah, because I think I spent so much time getting it wrong, right? And so I knew what wasn't going to work. And so when I found something that felt like it ticked all the boxes that the other stuff didn't, then for me, it just felt like a no brainer. So, yeah, I was, a, I was a, like a two year overnight wonder, right? Of, of being crazy. Um, but yeah, so I did that. And then as you said about the community right then, you know, there was no kind of ways to get reviews and stuff. I remember Mike helping me out a lot with that because I was, you know, I didn't have anybody in the U S and, um, I remember going on a dolphin trip one day and he got me some reviews when I came back. So that was cool. Um, so yeah. And then I literally, I put the listing up and I had a, I, because it was the, the time difference, I went to bed, got up the next morning and I'd had two sales and I was like, <laughs> Oh my god, it works! It's brilliant. So yeah, yeah and then from the then, dolphin, on. we need to put the dolphin trip into the into the module somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. So, over the you know, ever since ASM one, like in over the last five years, um, so much has changed. Amazon is a constant changing, evolving beast. Um, it, it's it's better in a lot of ways because it's more legit now. Um, you know, they're really trying to address things that early on when Amazon was selling, it was easier for competitors to come in and kind of fake their product. Um, definitely reviews and everything now. But, um, you know, the reality is just like back then, like anybody on this call right now could puzzle this together, go to YouTube and everything. But with the way the changes of Amazon is like, I know what the answer is, but like, I, I would just love you to verify like why, like, this way is so much better like following a system that's proven versus you know risking outdated information even yeah no well number one it's faster right because you just literally have to follow the videos and get it done and as you said it's proven and um i don't know how much more you can overemphasize that because there's there's how many twenty thousand people that have gone through this course now and there's so many success stories at various levels of what people feel like as successful, right? Some people that are doing a million dollars a month think that, you know, they're very successful. Some, someone that's doing $10,000 a month, it's what their goal is. Yeah. So it's not, you don't have to get seduced by that either. It's really about what do you want to do and follow a proven system that works, that's had fantastic results for lots of people. So yeah, it's quick, it works. And I think a lot of people have mentioned this, um, but the community is invaluable because 
one thing about having a, an online business it's awesome because you can do it from anywhere but it can be very lonely right especially if you're used to um going to an office every day right you have that social interaction with the people that you work with you know you can have a laugh with them at the coffee place or whatever or have a bitch or whatever whatever you want to do right but you don't have that you don't have that backup system on your own and so not having that community you just drive yourself batty because what you're going to do is you're going to get so excited you're going to say brilliant i've seen some free training from asm um i've got enough and you're gonna have this euphoria you're gonna go off you're gonna go around youtube and then you're just gonna go drive yourself mental with indecision as you go through because you're going to be second guessing yourself every step of the way so um you know save yourself that pain and follow a system but also get in with a community of successful people that are willing to help you get you there i mean that's the difference as well right you guys are not there to just see you later thanks for the money guys and you know we'll never see you again i mean every step from asm1 through to asm9 you've updated the course it's lifetime access to every member and you constantly give um more and more updates from a mentorship perspective as well bringing new perspectives new expertise and new skills so that's completely in fact in fact you can't even put a price on it it's hard to describe if you're not in it but once you're in it you'll completely understand that that is priceless so I, go on. I was going to say so one of the things too that i love about amazon and it's really really like when we got back in you know years ago um it was just amazon.com um, and so that was more validation back then that you'd want your own shop, like your own website. You'd want to start looking at going on eBay and maybe like different online forms. But the reality is right now that how, how like when I started, Amazon was a $70 billion a year company. Now they're like 220 billion or something like that. Um, you know, it's just exponential. But the cool thing is Amazon is expanding it so that sellers are benefiting tremendously. And especially over the last couple of years, they've really put a focus on the European marketplace, Japan, and they're trying to go worldwide. Yeah. Um, now you've been able to really benefit from that. Um, and I'd love you to share about that because your numbers are beautiful. Like for what you've been able to do, start in the US and go over to Europe and yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. so for me, um, because I wasn't actually selling in the country that I lived in, I think it was a bit easier to get my head around it. And so I was like, right, okay, well, I'll, I'll start in the US because that's where the most people are. And then rather than try and find another product, I'll just sell the same thing in the UK. And then when I sold it in the UK, because you're on the UK platform, that actually opens up Germany, France, Italy, and Spain. Um, and so and the reason I only started in those countries was that Amazon actually translated my listings and then I just started selling. Like I didn't even know I was gonna sell there, right? I just started selling products. So um, I was like, oh my God, this is brilliant. And so, yeah, that's, it's, it's really as simple as that. And then I took some time out, got some proper translations done. And because there's less people, but there's still a rabid audience that wants to buy stuff, and because not a lot of people yet have have really really gone to those European markets, there's hardly any competition. So, of course, you can still be successful in the US. It might just take you a little bit longer to get there. But in the UK, you can basically send all your inventory to the UK market. It can then be shipped across all those other European markets, and um, there's hardly any competition. So it just makes <clears throat> a lot of sense to do that and actually exponentially grow from one product. So I do have to ask this question because Jason said they're beautiful numbers. I say they're insane numbers, but why I want you to tell us what they are is because the comparison between America and Europe now. So what, yeah. what, what did you do last year in both of those areas? So in the US I did 2.7 million US dollars and then across Europe I did 2.5 million US dollars. And then that's the shock for me. It's like so close now. Like we, we've asked questions yeah. before in the last two, three years. And the numbers have just got closer and closer. Every time, time I talk to you, I feel like you've grown like thirty percent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, that's, so you know, we've got to keep this relationship growing. It's a good vibe here, you know. Yeah, yeah. And you know, the interesting thing last year, I didn't actually launch any new products last year. Wow. All I did was consolidate the stuff that I've already got, um, and did more of the stuff that I've already got. And this year, I'm going to launch more. But it's kind of like a cool cycle of launch consolidate but you're still growing because you're putting the effort into the products and then launch again um that keeps you sane i think um and it also 
it helps you learn the business a lot better because you're not necessarily always, you know, sh jumping to the next shiny object. You're actually really focusing in on, I've got some good stuff here. I know I can do better. So let me do that and then grow again through new products. Absolutely. That's awesome. Yeah, always be trying to improve your product, like sell more, sell more of what you have. Um, and then like obviously grow more. But one thing I wanted to, uh, you know, cause I could see people say, oh, so if I start, I should start selling on all platforms. Um, absolutely not. Like if you're just getting started, if you have no experience in this, like recommend what it is, what we recommend is if you're in the US or in a, uh, like Canada or anything like that, go on amazon.com, sell on amazon.com. Um, or I guess they could do, but we recommend amazon.com. So the easiest way to remember is if you're like, things have changed and we've changed the training with it. And there are some elements, if you're trying to set up in the UK or Germany, if you're not from those countries, it can be a bit tricky. So what we recommend now is if you're in the UK, sell in the UK or the US. If you're in Germany, sell in Germany or the US, anywhere else, we would recommend you start in the US because as Kirsty says, once you get launched in the US and you start like your product starts to get momentum, starts selling and gets a reputation, it's then so easy to move into the other markets. Great answer. The other Thank thing, you. the other thing I would say on that as well is that there are less setup costs in the US than there are in the other countries just because of VAT potentially right so VAT is a you know like the sales tax so you have to set that up in the other countries whereas in the US you actually don't need to do that so there is a cost it's a small cost but it's still an extra cost so that's yeah. something to bear in mind as well and that's a good point because like when you're running especially when you're just getting started you want to watch all your costs you want to be as efficient as possible because you want to put as much into inventory and marketing as possible. So any of those wasted costs will, will deter you from that. So, you know, don't bother about like, Oh, I better get incorporated. I better do all this stuff. Like we show you, no, do this first. Like we walk you through everything in the training because we know you have those fears. We know you have those concerns, but at the end of the day, you got to have something to sell before you should start worrying about the, the income tax you're going to make off of selling it. So don't worry about that stuff until you actually start selling something. And then it's like, cool, this works. Um, now I'll set up a company. So we walk you through all that stuff. Um, anything you want to share? You know, it, it's, you've seen, you've been, um, you were a mentor actually, I believe for a little while, were you not? No, no, no she I've not. tried so many oh, times. Yeah. So it's, I'm too busy or I'm lying on the beach or I'm here. Oh, and well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, surreptitiously, surreptitiously, a mentor. <laughs> you, you, you do work with other people with this business, you know, and the, the, what I'm trying to show people too is like doing this business alone is really hard. Um, yeah. It's not that you can't do it. And we like, you can get the training. Like if you came into the amazing sell machine and just watched the training and that's all you do. Yeah, you could make this work. I know that, but you will not get the results like the end result of someone that takes advantage of everything is so much better. Not only the relationship, but the networking. Like I like, I would say that's probably the most valuable thing of the entire thing. Once the training is done it is that networking, like the, the fact that, I mean, how many people do you know that are Amazon millionaires, like, sorry, physical product brand millionaires that you are connected with now because of this training? Oh gosh. Yeah, 40 50 people yeah <laughs> loads Absolutely. yeah that are just yeah. like you know you can call up like so many people it's like man i'm really having this problem like let me see if i can reach out to these people like you can't ask for better support than that and the thing is there's a, not a uh, you don't have to worry about people like being worried about sharing like it's a very open they know like it's reciprocity if i share you'll share back it, it works this way um, and that's what yeah. makes it, and, and you've heard every single person we've had, they've been smiling, they've been happy, they talk about like the positives. Um, it's just, just a great experience being part of the Amazing Sound Machine as well. Yeah, I mean, for me, just um, being able to have a brand new network of people that actually get what I do, right? Um, and also that actually wanted to be on that journey with me because you know what it's like. I mean, some people are probably still on the call now thinking, how oh, am I going to tell my husband or, you know, my, my mom and dad are going to think I'm mental doing this or, you know, but the people that are in this community have been in that situation. They know exactly how you feel. They want to be successful. They've got a completely different mindset. So I would definitely say one of the best things I ever did was go to the live event. Um, I went to the one in Austin, the second one in Austin. 
Um, I was meeting up with Mike for a coffee just because he'd helped me out with a few stuff. And then you lot were in the bar. And so I just kind of, you know, tagged along. I uh, just had, you know, <laughs> had some beers and, you know, it was it was just, it felt real then, right? It, you're meeting these people. You don't have to meet Rich Henderson, but, you know, you just need to meet normal people because he's not that normal. You just need to meet normal people who just want to do what you do. And that just gives you the validation that you're in the right place and you're doing the right thing. And that mindset piece I was talking about earlier, that switch, that for me, again, was another mindset switch when I went to the live event because I was like, I'm in the right place. These are my people. And this is what I want to be doing. And most of my mates, my best friends are through this community now. I met my boyfriend through this community, um, which is why I'm in Montreal. Um, and obviously I met you guys and it's just, it's been an amazing, to cut, you know, to coin the phrase, it's been an amazing journey because it's not, it's the intangibles that people don't really get, right? It's, it's kind of, well, yeah, great. You can earn this money. And of course you want to do that, but, the types of people and the inspiration and the, you know, the the community aspect of it, it's it's difficult to get that unless you're in it. But if you want to be part of something like that, you don't need to go to a Tony Robbins event, right? You know, you, you need to come here where there's so many normal people that are changing their lives at varying degrees of what they want to achieve. And so I think this, as I think it was Anne that said it, you know, the sky is the limit. You can pretty much do as much or as little as you want in this business. But you just need to do what's right for you, I think. Excellent. I mean, I think the reciprocity thing you mentioned and what you're talking about is just is so perfect. Because you did, you came to the Austin event and it just reminded me then, she was never a mentor, but she was a mentor groupie. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, <laughs> right. So, but she came to that event, um, she made an effort to go and talk to people. She talked to Mike, Mike helped her out. And then in turn, she's given so much back to our community too. Oh, so sure. it's just, yeah. that's the way it, it just seems to work with this community um, and this business. It's, it's extraordinary. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Kirsty, thank you so very much. I don't know, do you have any closing words you want to share? I think, you know, guys, if you're on the call, you haven't bought the, bought the course yet. You are sat there thinking, what am I doing? If, you know, you've got the money in the bank and it's just a case of, I'm just not sure. Just take that leap of faith. I remember when I did it, um, somebody said, oh, what, did, what does it feel like? And I said, it feels like I've jumped off a cliff and actually found some wings. Because you have to jump before you can realize that you can actually do it, right? So um, that's what I would say. And, and just kind of trust in the process, do it step by step, and reach out as much as possible. Um, because that's what's going to make you successful. Not knowing, you know, the latest trick. It's about doing the course step by step and reaching out when you're not sure about anything don't get stuck just push through the roadblock awesome Beautiful. Christy, your dear friend we love you awesome that you're doing so well i'm glad that you're a fellow canadian now um and have a great day <laughs> yeah like she's not a canadian she's a true yorkshire lass uh, uh, yorkshire. Nice boss. thanks so much <laughs> Kirsty. we'll see you soon, see you soon. All right, so our next person that's coming on live this is really neat because uh, Matt Clark's going to be joining me, and we are going to be talking to um, someone that I became dear friends with. We both, John, all of us have become friends. Um, his story is so inspiring because it's not only about how he changed his life, but what I love because as a parent is that he's actually set his children up and have changed their life in a way that he otherwise couldn't have and only dreamt of. So, um, John, always a pleasure to have you. Thanks for being here, buddy. Oh, the pleasure is mine. So great seeing you guys again. It's, uh, I mean, how many years was that China trip? Uh, China trip would have had to been like 2013, something like that. It'll be five years in August. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so, John, you were an ASM1, right? Yep, there it was. Uh, and, you know, maybe tell your story because you, you've had an interesting story. You've been a, a police officer. Uh, then you had your own uh, telecom, like you're into calling cards kind of thing, doing really well with that. Then the bottom yeah. fell out, and you kind of were stuck. And then ASM came along. So let's let's hear it from you. God, I, I I hate that you guys have to listen to this for the hundredth time, but but yeah, you're right. I, I was a police officer for uh, eleven years in South Florida. Uh, always wanted, you know, dreamed since I was a kid of being an entrepreneur, you know, and, and took that that jump and uh, was very successful in the telecom business. And then all of a sudden I wasn't, you know, as you said, the bottom fell out and I wasn't prepared. 
And it wasn't only devastating uh, financially, it was incredibly devastating emotionally and mentally uh, because I felt like I let my family down. I felt that I wasn't, you know, I, I didn't make good decisions. So it really, really crushed me, uh, you know, as far as my confidence. And, and like I said, more, more importantly than that is that, that what I, I felt that I did to my family in, in hurting them. So, um, but the interesting thing is that when ASM came along and, and, and I kind of remember it, and it's so funny to see us all now, because I remember those first videos, you guys were in France and you guys looked like, you know, deers in a headlight you know, on your first videos, you're kind of stumbling through, but still watching the videos, it made sense. Now, when I decided to do this, I didn't do it for me. I didn't purchase ASM for myself. At the time, um, um, I was working, I, I had to, unfortunately, I had to go get a job and I was doing a, a consulting gig and my wife was going through one of those periods where she felt that she just didn't have any value and she wasn't contributing enough and uh, she, she just wanted to do something. So oddly enough, I got the email from Andy Jenkins and I'm not on his email list. I've never received an email before and I haven't received an email since. So it was kind of odd that I got that, but I started watching the videos and I showed her, I said, look, two of your favorite things, you know, the internet and shopping, I, you, you know, you could do this. This looks great. And, and I remember because she's from Ecuador, she was worried that it would be tough for her. She had no experience and she thought the language barrier would make it a challenge for her. So I told her, don't worry, I'll sit there with you. I'll go through the modules and any questions you have, I'll translate, I'll, I'll explain. But I had no interest in the business. I, I, I really didn't. Um, but what had happened is around module two, life got in the way and she lost interest because she was dealing with our son in soccer and our daughter in dance and, and things like that. But because I was watching the, the training with her, um, it clicked. It made sense. And, and I remember saying to myself, you know, this makes sense. I think I can do this. So I stuck with it and I finished the course and uh, and you know, the rest is history. So when, when you said, did you have anything to ask? Uh, go for it, Mike, okay. follow up. So when you first started, I remember you remember the whole live event thing, like you're like, I need to make this work. I need to make this work. Um, what did you, what, how long was it from when you first started with ASM until it actually started working? Well, the funny thing is, is I was kind of a slow starter, um, you know, and for anybody out there that feels like they, they don't have the ability, that they might not have the experience, the knowledge, or even the confidence, please put that aside. Trust me, because I didn't. I told you my confidence was destroyed. And I didn't, this, I had no experience in, in the internet or this type of business. I had no experience. Actually, I, I think that I, probably as far as Amazon is concerned at that time, I probably made two or three purchases in my whole lifetime on Amazon. So I really didn't know Amazon. I just thought they were books. Um, so, you know, if, if that's one of your concerns, please put that, put that aside. But for me, I also, I'm also that slow learner. I, I think I suffer from ADD and I literally had to watch every video 10 times before it would sink in. Um, but as, as it relates to the live event, um, I don't know if you remember the story, but I waited too long and I, I missed the registration for the live event. And I was kicking myself because the doors were closed. And so I said, screw it. I'm going, I'm going to sneak in the back door. I'm going to, I have to be there. And at the time where I, I was saying I was kind of a slow starter, I didn't have my product live yet. I, I was still a little bit away from, from um, uh, launching my first product, but I, I knew I needed to be there. And so I remember getting there and I went to the front desk and I told my story and I begged for forgiveness and I said, it's all on me, but you got to let me in. I don't care what it costs, what it takes. If you have no seats, I'll sit on the floor. I'll sit on the soda machine. Please let me in. And I was fortunate enough. Um, and again, I think this says a lot about the culture you guys created and who you guys are, but it was Jason, your wife, Charlene, who was the one who uh, I met with in the back and she said, no problem. Come on in. And, and she was gracious enough to let me in. And it was there that I made a lot of connections. It was there because the other thing too is that, you know, I, I, I still didn't have the confidence. You know, I was still worried and, and uh, scared, could I do this? Yeah. You know, I was still at that point. But what I did have is I had the need. 
I had the desire. I knew I had to make this work. And so that's why I wanted to be there. It was the best decisions I ever made going there because I got to meet you guys. You know, I, I took the leap of faith and signed up for the China trip where I did not have the money. I mean, I wasn't even close to have them, but I knew I needed to be there. I wanted to be around you guys and the other people, a lot of which are, are still some of my closest friends to this day. And some of which I've made millions of dollars with since then. Yeah. So it, it was an incredible experience. But to, to answer your question, I'm sorry, Jason, I kind of took the long road. Oh, it's been great, man. It, it took me a while, and, but I was very, very fortunate because once I did go live, it, I kind of hit the ground and running right away. You know, my, my first product was a, a big success very quickly. You know, I think, I think it was probably within 30 days, I was doing about uh, close to three grand a day on one product. Wow. Yeah. So, and what, what I love about your story too, because you, whenever we interview you, you really highlight in a passionate way, um, the community value of this system. Um, you know, you talked about how when you came to the live event, you met us and then we went to the China trip and we've always tried to have a sense of community because we know helping each other. And you know, you've like been very gracious to Matt and I for the effect that we've had on your life that the trains had. But we have to admit, like, you've also, like, by far the biggest value has been the community. And maybe you could share a little bit about that, how, why that's so important, especially following the training. Well, I think one of the things that the community does, I mean, first of all, the community is amazing. I mean, I, I don't know what it is. And, and, and Christy had mentioned that Tony Robbins event. It, it kind of reminds me because it, like, it almost attracts, like, the same people, just really good people. I mean, people that you really want to be around. I mean, people that I want my children and have introduced my children to, or, or my son at least, you know, because, uh, I, you know, there was value there. I knew that him being around these people would make him a better person and would make him a better business person, which has been the case. But the great thing about that is in online businesses, you tend to, you could, you could catch yourself being hidden in your cave. And, you know, and you don't see what's going on outside. Um, but with this, with this community and what you guys created, you're definitely not alone. You're not alone. And, and, and that was a great um, resource for me because, again, I remember the Facebook group was really big back then. And, and I was kind of addicted to it. You know, I was because, again, I, I needed to make this thing work. This was not a shit. It was a must. And I remember following the things on Facebook, and, I'm, and I remember saying to myself, I have no idea what these guys are talking about. I mean, they're throwing SEO terms and internet marketing terms. I had no clue. But what was great is there was people, there was mentors, that, um, uh, there was a community that I could reach out to that were very gracious and, and helped me and guide me. And in um, and, and, and a place where I felt safe in asking that stupid question I thought was a stupid question. So, so the community was invaluable. But how out of that community too, the people, the networking, the, the relationships you've made, how like that exponentially helped your wealth. Oh my God. I, like I said, just from the, the people that I've met from this business, whether it was at one of your events or one of my events, whatever, I, because of that, I've literally made millions of dollars with these people because of the networking and not, not just the networking. I mean, that obviously was part of it. But the knowledge that I gained from those relationships, yeah. you know, I remember our mutual friend Todd Herman, and, and Todd Herman is is an amazing, brilliant guy. He co he's a success coach, and you guys introduced me to Todd. I remember Todd telling me once, you know, give me two businessmen, one with a truckload of money, and the other one with a quality Rolodex, and I'll bet on the guy with the Rolodex every day. And he was absolutely right, absolutely right. That's great advice. So That's surrounding great. yourself with the right people is critical. Cool. So, you know, you mentioned earlier uh, about confidence, you know, I find this like super interesting because we were just at a live event and like a lot of times we think that the reason people want to get, start this business and get inside amazing selling machine, they're like, I just want to make money. I want to be able to travel. I want to be able to live anywhere. But I heard more than one person at the event who I was talking to, like, why did you start this business? And time and time again, like people were saying like a, a big factor was confidence for whatever reason, they either never had it or they lost it or something had happened where they felt like they didn't know if they could actually make anything work. And so for you, like, at what point did that change? At what point did you feel like, yes, I know that I'll never have to work for somebody else again. I can build this business. I can kind of rinse and repeat. Like, where did that shift kind of happen? And, like, why do you think it happened? Well, I think it happened uh, in a couple – it actually started to happen on a small scale at the live event. And I think what it was is that logically 
after going through the training, because the, the live event was after uh, several weeks after the last module. So I had already been through the training. Like I said, I've been through it 10 times. I watched every video over and over. And then being at that event and being around the people is, so what I was starting to say, at first, logically, in your head, it makes sense, right? I see Amazon, I understand, you know, when, when you know, when I, if I look at the back of a UPS or FedEx truck, 90% of the boxes are Amazon boxes. I mean, I, it doesn't take a genius to realize that Amazon is here, it's here to stay, they're huge and they're growing. So how do I get to, you know, to take part in that? How can I, you know, benefit from that? So logically it makes sense. So what I always feel or what I say is once it goes from your head to your heart, once it hits your heart, it's all over, you know, and being at that live event and being around that people and people who were ahead of me and people that I looked at and I said, wow, if they can do it, then I can do it because they're just like me. If they can do it, I can do it. And that kind of started the ball rolling as far as the confidence was concerned, you know, because I knew now the great thing for, you know, people that are, are watching this right now is as a, an ASM one person, we did not have the social proof. I was going 100% of my trust with you guys and that it made sense because there wasn't all these millionaires ahead of us that did it. And, and again, you guys know this and I say this in the most loving way. I mean, I know a lot of knucklehead millionaires in this business. They're complete knuckleheads. It's like, how did they do it? But they did it because they found a system and they followed it. You know, I was not the Amazon rocket scientist. You know, I was very fortunate um, and, and, and the first year was, was incredible. It changed my life. But um, it was more because I had that desire. I had that big why that I always talk about. Um, and, and, and those are the people that I found that were, that have really, excelled you know you guys know that i've worked i used to work with some people do some coaching one-on-one -on -one, which i don't do anymore but i've seen people that i worked with that went from you know 20 30 thousand a month to a million to two and a half million a month and the thing that i saw with the people and that i want to really i want to talk about this because it's so important that the people that really succeeded in this business now again it does it doesn't need to be millions a month or hundreds of thousands it could be what you want you know make a couple thousand dollars a month whatever your goal is whatever your need is because for some people, a couple grand a month is a life changer. But the thing that I saw, the common denominator, I always try to look for common denominators. And what I found is the people that succeed in this business are the people that have the biggest why and the strongest why. You know, so that's why I said, if you got, if there's anyone on this call listening right now that says, you know what, I, I don't know if I can do this. You know, I don't know if I have the confidence. I don't know if I have the experience. I don't know if I have all the money that it'll take to do this, please. Put that crap aside. All that is is noise in your head. Because if you have a strong desire and you have that big reason why, the rest of the stuff will work itself out because you can't be stopped. I mean, this is something I'm so passionate about and so grateful to you guys because you guys changed my life. Not only my life, my family's life and, and, and people that I've been blessed enough to work with and help. Um, it's, it's incredible. And again, I don't want people to, I was fortunate enough because I didn't buy it for me. I bought it for somebody that I love but it was such an incredible blessing because I did buy it because like I said, it, it, it made sense. It clicked and, and I ran with it. But if it wasn't for that, I would have passed that by and I don't know where I'd be today. I have no idea, but my life has changed in so many ways because of this. And that's why every time I see you guys, I give you guys hugs, even though I know it makes Matt uncomfortable when I hug them, but I do, I do it for that reason because I know it makes them uncomfortable. But I always thank you guys. I mean, I can't thank you guys enough for what you've done for me and my family. So but what's cool about this, John, and what I love your story about too, is now the next level where it's like, yeah, you took care of yourself so you could take care of your family. But, you know, to be able to generate money that you can give your kids is one thing, but you've been able to do something else with that, which now is you set your son up with an extreme, you've helped him. Let's not take credit away from him, but you've been able to help him create an industry unto his own, a business unto his own. Can you share a little bit about that? Oh my God. Well, I remember when I first started and um, cause he had worked for me in my telecom business and he's a great kid. He's a brilliant kid. Uh, but when I started this, he says, what, you know, I remember him looking at me and shaking his head and laughing saying, you're kidding me, dad, Amazon, that's your answer, Amazon. So, um, and I love to tell that story and I wish he was here cause I love to rub it in his face because he's not <laughs> laughing anymore. But once, once he, he started to see me making money, and I think this goes to a point, I heard somebody mention this that, you know, cause some people, and I've talked to people that have that challenge, like, you know, my significant other, my spouse, whatever, oh my God, they're gonna, 
they're going to kill me or they're not going to support me. They're not going to be happy with me for making this decision and jumping in. I'll tell you this, when you start making money, they will jump in. They will have you back. They will support you. And that's what happened with Sean. Once he started seeing me making money, then he took it serious and he wasn't laughing anymore. So he, you know, so I shared the course with him. I mentored him. I got him around my friends and my contacts. And in a very short period of time, you know, he was making great money for him. And now, you know, he, he, he probably puts in his pocket, you know, five figures a month. A 29-year-old kid, he's financially free. He's got a one-year-old now, married in a one-year-old, and he doesn't have to work for somebody else. He never has to go through the bull crap that I had to go through as a police officer or working for somebody else. Forget it, what it is you do. Nobody tells me or my son when I can go on vacation, when I have to be at work, when I, have, when I can go home. You know, what I call my own shots, he calls his own. That was the greatest blessing from this, is that I was able to, you know, pass that on to him. And now I know that he's set, he's okay. And because of the skills that he's learned along this journey in the last five years, no matter what happens, he's going to be okay. Yeah. He's, going, I mean, he's going to be beyond okay. But, he's, but the other thing too that's incredible is if I look back five years ago and then I look back now, I don't know this kid. I mean, he's, he's actually surpassed me when it comes to his Amazon knowledge and even his business knowledge. He's incredible. He's incredible. Sorry. I, awesome. I, I, no, I, I, we appreciate it so much. And, you know, we, we've been building this up with by hearing people that are succeeding, changing their lives, just enjoying their lives so much. And, John, we, I don't do you have anything else to John? No, I was just going to ask, you know, you're, you're our kind of last guest for this call on the final webinar of the entire launch. We still got people here. This is they've got about six hours left. And so would just love for you to kind of like wrap up your session by saying, you know, sitting these people that are still sitting here kind of deciding they're on the fence. Uh, like what advice would you give to them? Kind of like we've been asking all the other speakers. Well, I mean, at this point, I mean, this is early on in their journey. So right now what you have is you have people that are apparently or obviously anyone that's on this call right now and has stayed through this, this whole webinar, they want to make some, some kind of change in their life. And, you know, people that are trying to make a change, they're looking for a vehicle. They're looking for a vehicle that can help them reach that goal. I, I can tell you that this is absolutely the vehicle. I mean, you guys have created an amazing system. And, um, and like I said, I mean, I know so many people that are so incredibly successful because of this. So there's no doubt that that's, you know, that it doesn't work. The, you know, the question is, will it work for you, for the person that's listening? And I tell you, like I said, put everything else aside, any of your doubts, your fears, your insecurities, whatever it is, if you have a strong reason why, and you follow this system, this will make your dreams come true. This will help you accomplish your goals. You know, whenever I was working with someone, the way I'd always start is, or actually before I would work with them, I'd kind of do a little interview and I would ask what, you know, what is your reason why? Why do you need to make this thing? Why do you need to succeed in this business? You know, and if they didn't have a strong reason why I didn't want to work with them because I just didn't feel that I could help them. But if, so my point is, is that if you have a define your reason why, and if you have a strong reason why, you, you have the vehicle, you have the system. This will work for you if you work it. I mean, that's not a question. You know, and the analogy that I, that I tend to use, because some people are like, you know, what's he talking about, the reason why? You know, and it's kind of a silly analogy, but if, if, if Jason, if I was to, you know, to, to say to you, you know, um, hey, you know, that house across the street's burning, it's on fire, and I left my wallet in there. Can, can, you, can you go in there and get it for me? You know, you would look at me like I was a crazy person. But if I told you Charlene's in there, dude, and you got five minutes to get her out before that house collapses, there's nothing's going to stop you. Yep. It's the same thing. What's the difference? The reason why. So if you, and nothing was going to stop you. It's the same thing in, 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 in setting goals. Whatever that goal is, whether it's losing weight, getting into shape, creating a business, making more money, everything else is BS and noise. If you have a reason, a strong reason why, you have a vehicle right here. This will work, you know, but how, so my advice is if you have a reason why, don't question, just do it. Awesome. Just John, do it. And then when I see a lot of it, give me a big hug. <laughs> <laughs> and he gives good hugs, man. Thank you so much, John. We appreciate you so much. Um, you just have a wonderful night, man. Yeah, I love you guys. Hey, is, uh, tell McCleary and, and Rich, I say good night, thanks. And is, uh, is uh, Lemons and uh, in company there? Right here. Right. And Caleb, tell them all I said hi. Give big hugs for me. You will do, buddy. All right. Thanks, Thank you. guys. Love you guys, man. Have a great night. Awesome. You too. So, you know, what we've been talking about here is the amazing sewing machine. 
And what we've been showing you here is the results of not only uh, just six months ago students starting, but also people from five years ago and how we stay in touch and the success, the change. You see John Gill, who now has been able to pass this on to his children. You see Kirsty Verity, who's able to travel the world. You see Anne Harry, um, Anne, oh my goodness. Ferris. And Ferris, thank you. And Ferris, who lives in Costa Rica, doesn't have, like, not in a country that's really um, built to be able to start a business like this, create a very successful business in only six months, absolutely crushing it, and now wanting to get out of her other business because this is so much more profitable. How is this all possible? It's because the amazing selling machine. And it's closing tonight. So it's closing about how long, I think? I think we've got about six hours left, a little six. less than six hours. And so the big thing about why it's so important tonight is not only we're closing the doors, but we're getting rid of our bonuses. Um, and those are huge. But first, before we get into the bonuses, maybe we should explain what ASM9 is. Huh? Yeah. And so uh, we're kind of getting the last section of this webinar, this final webinar. And so uh, we've got the live Q&A coming up. We've been receiving questions. So we're going to start answering some of those live here. So if you have any questions about amazing selling machines specifically about selling on Amazon. We are here to answer those and that's what we're about to get into. So start typing those into the Q and A box. But first I want to ask, cause I want to know who we have here with us. So regardless of where you're watching this in the comments box, I want you to do one of two things. I want you to say, are you an ASM member? If you're an ASM member, cause we know we got a lot of people that have joined over the past week. They're probably sitting here just anxious, trying to watch anything they can getting ready for module one to go live tomorrow. Uh, so if you're an ASM member, type that you're an ASM member. If you're not an ASM member, put in big capital letters if you're thinking about joining and you're on the fence. You can type something big capital letters like on the fence. I just want to see, because we've got the comments pulled up right in front of us, I want to be able to see who we have here with us still on this webinar, because we've got a lot of people. The numbers have not dropped very much from the very beginning, uh, and we've been here for two hours and 15 minutes at this point, and we still have our live Q&A coming up. So either put I'm an ASM member or I'm on the fence if you're still thinking about joining. So go ahead and do that right now in the comments while we talk about what exactly ASM9 includes. So ASM9 includes four components. This whole program is built so that you can build a business just like the seven people, I guess eight people or eight and a half if you count the uh, Paul and his kid, uh, eight and a half people you just saw. If you hear about the businesses that they built, it's so you can build a business just like that for yourself. The entire program is designed just for that purpose. It's not to teach you how to sell on Amazon. It's not to teach you how to source products. Those are a means to an end. The whole purpose is so that you actually build a business, which is how we designed it from the very beginning and is what's differentiated us from everybody else because that's how we designed the whole program. It's not just a course. It's a full-fledged system so that you can actually build a successful business. So with that in mind, it includes four components. First component, eight-week online web class. These are a series of pre-recorded videos that you can watch anytime you want. First module goes live tomorrow on Friday. And uh, we have a welcome module that's already in there. So you can kind of get an overview of the business model, a refresher on the business model. You'll learn how to set a goal for your business and you'll start getting the ball rolling for getting your Seller Central account set up. Then over the next eight weeks, you walked through everything from how do I find the best products to sell on Amazon? Which country should I sell in? Which platform should I sell on? How do I get those accounts set up? Uh, especially no matter where, the, where you're from in the world, you can do it, but it does take some specialized training. And we've done a very good job, especially Rich, in creating that inside of uh, the web class. And then we go from product selection, how do you choose a product to sell? How do you find suppliers for that product? How do you build a brand? How do you order inventory? Then how do you launch the product on Amazon? How do you optimize your listing, your titles, your bullet points, your description? How do you get reviews? You know, somebody was asking earlier, and I was responding to while I was sitting behind the camera, uh, somebody was asking, you know, how do I get reviews if I don't live in the, in the country where I'm selling? Not a problem whatsoever. We've, we've, helped, we've helped over 25,000 people build this business. Trust me, regardless of what situation you're in, where you're from, what your challenges may be, we've helped someone just like you. And so we talk you through all those processes. You get your product launched on Amazon. Then how do you scale your marketing and scale your business, which is really more or less what the second half of the eight-week online web class is about. Now, those videos are pre-recorded, so you can watch them anytime you ever want. If anything changes on Amazon, we update those pretty much immediately. And so some people, you know, they watch them in the morning. Some people in the afternoon, maybe they're while their kids are at school. Or some people are working a job and they have to watch them at night or on the weekends. Perfectly fine, completely up to you. You can probably build this entire business in the early stages in about an hour a day. 
Um, so then that's eight week online web class, and then there's and with that eight weeks. So I yeah. think this is did we just one hundred percent update the training? Yes. So, so like that's the big thing too. Like it is up to date right to now. Like this isn't training that's the same recording they gave six months ago. One hundred percent all new content, completely updated, so that at right now you are getting the best training possible with that eight week module. Plus, one thing to add on that: it's not like at the end of the eight weeks, all of a sudden we say goodbye to you either. You continue to get training, like access to that training for as long as you need to keep coming back. So it's really powerful those eight weeks. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, a lot of people ask, you know, what happens after the eight weeks, and maybe we're not usually clear enough about this. The training's still there, and all likelihood, you're not going to go through all of it in the eight weeks, the first eight weeks. So the training's still there and everything else is still there. So on top of the eight weeks of training, you also get eight weekly group coaching calls. So the value of these are you're getting you know, top questions answered by us inside of uh, just, for, just for ASM members. So if anything new pops up or anything that people are having a lot of questions about, we'll answer those live. If there's any, if there's any training that needs to happen, we'll answer that stuff live. If we hear somebody that has a really cool story, we'll bring them on live just for ASM members to probably share more than really can publicly. And so you get all those, so there's eight weekly group coaching calls, and those also, we encourage you to make them live if you can, but you can't, if you can't, they're recorded, and you can watch them anytime you want. You can also submit questions ahead of time, so don't feel like you're missing out on anything if you've got kind of a crazy schedule going on. And with those eight weekly coaching calls, the cool thing, like the idea is when module one releases, we have it so that everyone is focused on the content of module one so we can give you the best support possible. That's why we drip it out. We've learned we, we are the best at doing this and we know that you drip it out. But the idea of the coaching call at the end of the week is we want to make sure there's no stone left unturned, that you're done that module and if there's any question outstanding, we've answered it so you are clear to go to the next step. Yep, so we kind of consider the web class and the coaching calls like the first component of ASM 9. And there's four components. So the second component is what we call the ASM mentors. You kind of heard Rich and Jason talk about those a little bit earlier. So these are people that have built, in most cases, multi-million dollar. On average, we surveyed them. And on average, they've each sold at least a million dollars on Amazon. And they still run these businesses. And so they sell, some of them sell up to five, six million dollars a year on Amazon. And they're inside the community to answer every single question that you have. And so it's not just a collection of videos in there. A lot of people wonder like what makes us different than you know, a Udemy course or whatever other kind of course. It's this piece right here is a big factor. Is that you can go inside of there any time of the day, ask a question, you can get an answer from somebody who's sold millions of dollars on Amazon, which for that kind of coaching, you'd probably have to pay you know, 500, 1,000, $2,000 per hour. And you can go in there anytime you want and get an answer from somebody who actually knows what they're doing. If you were to go online to try to get that same answer, there's a good chance you won't find an answer that's actually useful. You'll have to dig through a whole bunch of stuff. And there's also a decent chance that you could get some stuff that's misleading and could actually hurt your business, or worse, not help you at all. And so we have these mentors that are in there all the time. We have them spread out all over the world. So no matter where you're at, what time zone, you can get any question you need answered, and they're there to help you grow your business. Very cool. And the cool thing is you, the mentors even hold each other accountable. Like that's how much you can trust their information. So if a mentor makes a mistake in a response, others will actually review the response. Usually you'll get a few mentors respond, but you know you are getting quality guidance. And as Matt said, like these are people that are selling on Amazon, doing it successfully, have been through the course, have been through updates, and they're people that just get involved in the community and just love giving back. And so we approach about becoming a mentor because we know that they're the people that we can trust that are going to help you get your results because you need that. We don't want you in there having to second guess who to trust, what to listen to. These people are pre-vetted and they care about your success. Like That's one thing. I think that's the thing, in my opinion, that sets us apart so much is how passionate we want you to succeed because we know the more you succeed, the better your life will be and you know the more we can get the word out about this amazing system too. Yeah, and so the third component is the community, which is what John was just talking about. And so you get access to the full online community, lifetime access, beyond eight weeks, really whenever you want. You can go inside the community, you'll meet people most likely in your hometown. Uh, we have a lot of people all over the world, tens of thousands of members. Chances are somebody is living right next to you. We've had it happen. People literally, literally live on the same street. They live, you know, a few houses down from each other, and they'll meet each other uh, inside I have the a community. In my little town in Canada, that lives across. The, he's actually, yeah, yeah, just like five doors down. Yeah. So the community is something you can tap into anytime you want. You can meet other members. You can hear what's going on in the business. You can get kind of a 
a wide um, uh, look at everything going on inside this business for people that are in your exact same shoes. Now, some of the people in the community, they do $20 million, $30 million a year on Amazon because they've been at this. They've been amazing selling machine members for you know four or five years now. And so you get access to basically all of those people and uh, it's lifetime access. So it's all built inside the community. And the other thing too, like, and I don't want to intimidate you like, oh, people making the millions of dollars. There's also people in there consecutively making twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 a month and they're happy. They just have their little niche that they work like an hour or two a day. That's it. They don't want to scale it and grow it and they're crushing it, but they're in there sharing because they have consistent knowledge. Like whatever you're after, if you're after, if you want to be inspired by the people crushing it with millions or just the people that have a new lifestyle that it supports their lifestyle, the community is there to support you. Yep. And so then the fourth and final component is what we call the private resource vault. And so when you build this business, there are certain resources that you're going to want to have and can give you a big competitive advantage. Things like the right freight forwarder that can take care of all your shipping so you don't have to go hunt around for that. Things like really good photographers that can set your images apart from everyone else. Uh, special software tools that you can use for uh, improving your business operations and sending automated emails and a whole lot of other resources. So we basically gathered all those. We looked inside of our own businesses and put them together in a private collection that's only for ASM members, and you get access to all that. When we added up all the discounts, because pretty much all these people, we've got a big enough community where we basically work special deals with all of them so that you're getting a deal nobody else pretty much does. And so we added all that up, and all those discounts, if you were to use all that stuff, is worth about $10,000. And the cool thing with this stuff, too, it's all pre-vetted. Like, we don't just throw stuff in here and say, oh, here's some resources for that. If we don't use the tool, or if we don't know someone successfully using that tool or that provider, we won't use it. It has to be something that we can validate through either our results or the results of our mentors. So you can trust it. And John Gill actually just gave a great quote a moment ago. He said, you know, if you give me one guy that has a, a truckload of cash and one guy that has a fantastic Rolodex, I'll take the guy with the Rolodex anytime. And that's what this rose, uh, resource fault is. It's a Rolodex, a thing of you know, there's nothing worse than going through this pain in the butt of setting up this new service that you want to use only to be a couple days later disappointed because it's not working. And you got to go through all the hassle of wanting a refund, finding a new service provider. That's what this does. Not only does it give you discounts, but it saves you time. And that's what the whole point of the whole amazing cell machine is, is we want to save you time. We want to get your results faster than you normally can. And a big part of that is the resource goal. Yep, so as a recap, the four main components are the web class, the ASM mentors, the community, and the private resource fault. Now this time for ASM 9, we've never done this before, we decided to throw in two extra bonuses. And these are 100% gone at midnight Pacific tonight, about five and a half hours from now. So these are absolutely gone. And so the first one is a product listing evaluation. And so this is super important because where we see a lot of people make mistakes, is they've done a great job, they've sort, they found the right product opportunity, they sourced the right product, and they got the product live on Amazon, and they think they've done a great job at optimizing their listing, which means they've got great, uh, good uh, keyword rich title, they've done a great sales copy inside their title, they've done great bullet points, description, and images, and reviews. And so they think they've done a good job on that stuff, then they start rushing into the next steps. They're like, okay, I'm ready to launch my product. I'm ready to scale my sales. And what happens is, is they start trying to launch their product and scale their sales. And they're like, why isn't this thing selling? But then you get an expert, you know, an ASM mentor, somebody else who sold millions on Amazon and has done this again and again and again. If they were to look at that person's listing, then they could give them feedback in about five minutes that would change the trajectory of their launch and their sales after, because you need to get that stuff right first. And so we decided this time to throw in a special bonus, which is easily worth $500, $1,000, $2,000 or more, is that one of our ASM mentors or other Amazon experts is as soon as you get your product listing live and you've done all your optimization, you're going to be able to send it to our team and we are actually going to look at it and give you direct feedback on what you need to improve so that as soon as you launch your product, as soon as you start scaling your marketing, it's as successful as possible. And we've never done this before. No, and the cool thing about it is absolutely like it helps you avoid risk from the get-go, but it even ensures that your results are that much better. In our last, at the last seller call, not the last one, the one before that, I remember we brought an individual on stage that had a certain product. 
Um, and I'm trying to remember, Mike, I think you were the one that audited his listing and it was just a little tweak in the back end with their keywords and what was it, like 20% more sales increase? The very next day. The very next day, a 20% increase in sales. So if you have someone that can audit that before you even start sending traffic to make sure you've got those bases covered, how powerful is it? It's that much more money you're gonna earn. As Matt said, we've never offered this before and it's so valuable. So if you sign up, if you join, if you follow our system, as soon as you're ready to launch your product, we will help double check that it is as optimized as possible. And then the next bonus, which even adds on that is the free traffic. Mm -hmm. We've invested how much? A hundred thousand dollars. A hundred thousand dollars. We invested to we budgeted as invested we budgeted to spend on you that means that we are going to help all of you get guaranteed traffic to your listing once your listing is ready once you've used the the free bonus of having someone evaluate your listing that's when basically we're just going to start sending you traffic yeah and so you'll notice kind of a trend with all this stuff it's not just us like uh you know like we we, we want them to sign up for asm so what else can we throw in we're going to throw in um, a Shopify course, we're gonna throw in an app course, we're gonna throw in all this other stuff. That's not what we're doing here. Everything that we're throwing in here is so you actually build a successful business. And like Jason said, the free traffic piece is the exact same thing. We want nothing more than else because it makes us look great <laughs> if, if your business is successful. And so we want nothing more than your business to be successful, So, which is why we're offering the bonus of the product listing evaluation. And on top of that, we're actually gonna send your product free targeted traffic as soon as it goes live. And that's uh, so another thing we've never done before that's only for ASN 9 and ends tonight at midnight also. And you know, the analogy I have with this whole physical products business, it's like a kite, you know? And so when you're trying to get a kite up in the air, you know, you've got to kind of pull on it and you hope there's wind that'll take. But if the kite is really good, chances are, you know, if you get a gust of wind under it, you'll be able to keep it up. And so what we're doing is we want to make sure, first of all, by your listening review, that you've got a good kite. But then what we also want to do by the traffic is we want to give you be able to give your kite a really big push to get it up and start ranking and start getting sales on Amazon so that then you you, you just start out out of the gate already getting results and then you just build upon that and it's it's just because as Matt said like not only not only do we look good but we honestly we feel good because you guys show so much appreciation when we're at live events, how you approach us with the thankfulness in your heart. And it's because this makes a difference and we truly, truly care. And these two bonuses, they are going away tonight at midnight Pacific time. So I guess five, four and a half hours about it. Yeah. Um, so please, please sign up. And I guess, you know, the big thing here though, you're, and I know you might've heard this before, but I want to stress this again. We take as much risk off as possible. You know, at the end of the day, we don't want to give this away. Because we want people, you know, obviously, like it's so worthwhile. We've built million dollars on physical products businesses with this exact same training, and we know the value. We've seen the change in people's lives, and so we we know it's a big in investment. It, it's a scary investment. We absolutely know that, but we take as much of that away. But not only the thirty day refund, with the thirty day refund starting tomorrow, you're gonna have a full thirty days. That's almost five modules to go through all the content and just know if what we talk about is true. Know if the training's really legit. Know if the community, the mentors, all those things are really legit. But on top of that, if you get past that 30 day mark and you're like, man, I'm still feeling a little nervous. We also have what we call as the six month Bible. Can yep. you explain that a little bit? Uh, yeah, so uh, you know, before we, before we sort of talk about the guarantee stuff, kind of want to mention the pricing is what people always want to know. And it's like oh, yeah. as many times we've talked about this, uh, shared the links everywhere, and we're not trying to hide it or whatever. Uh, you know, if you were to go out there and like pay someone for some sort of like private coaching, which is essentially with ASM, when you get access to the full web class with eight weeks, the ASM mentors, the community, the private resource vault, you're basically getting everything. And so if you were to go pay someone for that kind of experience, which is much more similar to what ASM is than like a, a course, if you were to pay someone for that kind of private coaching, it would easily cost you for the same amount, 30 to $40,000. But for Amazing Selling Machine, you can get it for just, uh, it's either one payment of $39.97, $3,997, or five payments of $997. And so the way that those work is you pay one payment up front for $997, and then the other four, the remaining four out of the five, are just 30 days apart. Now, you can do either option. You get full access to everything, regardless of which option you choose. There's no different in access level. It's just, do you want to spread your payments out, or do you want to pay the full thing up front and save about $988? It's completely up to you which route that you go. Either way is fine. But what's even better is, like Jason was saying, is that this is actually backed by two guarantees. So the first guarantee is a 30-day, unconditional, no-questions-asked guarantee. 
you can jump in there today. You have to jump in there today if you haven't already. And so you can jump in there today, you can evaluate everything, and you basically have a full 30 days, which starts tomorrow, uh, and you have a full 30 days to check pretty much everything out. And if you decide for any reason the quality is not there, or you don't have time to do this, or you don't like this, or for whatever reason you can't get through the first steps of the business, any reason whatsoever, you just let us know. We're, we make our team very available. Uh, we, we try to do the best job we can with customer service, which means that we make ourselves available by phone, by live chat, Inside the community, we're watching it like a hawk. You can contact us through email, and we sort of pride ourselves on having an hour or less response time through email. Uh, Facebook Messenger, literally any way you want to get a hold of us and say, I want a refund, I want out. No problem whatsoever. It's completely up to you. As long as it's within those 30 days, you can get out anytime you want. But like Jason said, is that if you go beyond the 30 days, and you're like, you know, I'm going to build this business because in 30 days you can't build a whole business. You know, we, we hopefully you realize that, but that's the truth. You can't build a whole business in 30 days. You won't even be through all eight weeks in the first 30 days. But you have a full six months to give this thing a try. All you have to do is meet a few basic requirements like watching all the videos. You have to earn the most important badges. You have to order inventory in a reasonable amount of time. All we're trying to do is make sure that you actually follow the training and actually give this business a try. And as long as you meet those basic requirements, we have what's called the ASM 9 six month buyback promise. So you have a full six months to build your business, generate revenue, get your inventory live, build your brand. And if in that period, as long as you met those basic requirements, if you want out, we'll verify that you met all the requirements and then we'll basically make you an offer. We'll say, okay, we'll take your business. We'll give you everything you've invested back in uh, ASM 9. So whether you did the one payment or you did the five payments, We'll give you that back and we'll also check how much you spend on inventory and we'll buy back up to $10,000 of your inventory. We're basically buying your business. We'll take your Seller Central account, we'll take your inventory because we know that if you followed all these steps, we're more than happy to take your business off your hands because we'll run it and build it ourselves and scale it and, and make cash flow from it. So that's our other way of giving you a way out beyond the 30 days. And what's a really cool thing about that is because you know at the end of the day this business isn't for everybody it's for people that want to have their own physical products business and so this also makes it so if you implement it and you realize you know what this just isn't what i thought it would be it's not i like having a job i like going to the office whatever your reason is this is your you know your way to test it because the reality is and we have i think we just had one recently we have had people take us up on this and it's like, yeah, we'll take your business because we know that we're going to be able to make money with it. The thing is, if it's not for you, it's not for you. So there's no, like you have that guarantee and it's because that's how passionate we are. That's how confident we are that this works is that we're willing to do that so that you can truly, truly do this business, see the results and then decide if this is the thing that you want to do for the rest of your life. Well, yeah, not even so, the rest of your life. So as good as all this is, you get all the components, you get the two bonuses, the two guarantees, I mean, there is literally nothing else out there like this. There is just one problem, is that the doors close in about five hours from now. So the doors close, and once they're closed, that's it. You'll be able to go to AmazingSellingMachine.com like you can right now. Right now, you can go there. You can see the details, which you don't really need to at this point because we've just given you all the details. But if you go to AmazingSellingMachine.com and click the Get ASM 9 button, you'll go to the Secure Order Form. You can get inside of Amazing Selling Machine 9 right now for about the next five hours, then doors close. Tomorrow, if you hit that page and it's after the countdown timer, if it's after midnight Pacific, then you'll notice that if you go to amazingsellingmachine.com, it says doors are closed. We've already had a development team. We've approved the page. It's good. It basically says the doors are closed and that's it. So you can literally not sign up starting tomorrow and that ends in about five hours so that's the only problem well and kind the of reason the we do that just so that you know it's not about scarcity it's because we have a bunch of students now that need our focus it's because now all of a sudden we've got to make sure we've got a kickoff call for new students that we're all doing tomorrow we want to make sure now we focus everything on you guys that have joined so that you can start getting the results that you want so we have to close the doors for that focus um so yeah Honestly, like you are not going to regret it. It is so like it's so rewarding. Um, if you're looking for something that's just going to give you like a different freedom in life, I, you know, and I guess I want to really talk about that freedom because you've heard stories of people that freedom to me now is I can spend time with my kids. Freedom to me now is I can travel to Bali, anywhere in the world and work. Freedom to me is now I've been able to set my children up to be able to 
take care of themselves. Those are all freedoms because they're things and stresses you no longer have to deal with. And all these people have been able to achieve these things through the amazing selling machine. It's an incredible experience. I encourage you, please, please trust in us. Take a try at it, do it, and you will be able to change your life for the better. I absolutely promise you. Um, so I think we've got Q&A going on now. Uh, yeah, so uh, right now, before we get into Q&A, go head over to amazingsellingmachine.com, grab your spot, get access to ASM9 before doors close. I asked a few minutes ago, you know, are you an ASM member or are you sort of on the fence? And so we got a lot of people that give both responses. So we've got Weston, who's an ASM9 member. We've got Yasha, who's an ASM member. We've got Daryl, who's a member. Uh, we've got Mishola, who is, says, I'm an ASM from today. And then we have Sorto, who says, I'm on my way to be. So hopefully, Sorto, you can still hang out on the webinar, but go ahead and grab your spot in ASM before time runs out. Then we got Rochelle, who's an ASM member, Daniel ASM, Yelly ASM, Robin ASM4. We've got Igor, who says, I became an ASM member today. Awesome. Francisco says he's still thinking. So what I'd like you to do, if you're somebody who's still thinking or you're sitting on the fence, you know, nobody can see your questions that you ask. This is the way GoToWebinar is set up. It's just how the thing functions. It's not a public chat thing, which is fine. And so we're the only ones. And if you don't want us to say your name, we don't have to say your name. But if you have a question that you absolutely feel like needs to be answered before you can decide whether or not you can join, because time is running out. And I understand you're kind of feeling the pressure likely because there's only a few hours left. You're sitting here on this webinar. You likely need something answered before you can sort of make a decision, yes or no. So if you have a question like that, Go ahead and ask that question now. If you want to really make it stand out, put you know big capital letters deal breaker in front of the question, and then we'll answer those questions first. And so if you have a question, if you're somebody like you, Francisco, who says you're thinking, then go ahead and type that in. And so we can answer those questions first and uh, make sure that we can help you out. So we got Denise, who's an ASM. I, I want to answer the thinking about joining. You know, one thing right now, I, I think, because it doesn't make sense to me in a lot of ways, because we talk about the 30-day money-back guarantee. You know, you can see right on our sales page, like, we've got uh, an A-plus, Better Business Bureau rating. Like, we, we are legit. Like, we will take care of you. You're covered by 30 days, and you have the six-month buyback. You know, there's the, four, the five payment option. Like, if you're that afraid, join with just the one payment option just pay the 997 you have 30 days now to just check everything out you don't have to pay the full price just pay the 997 even after a couple days if you go through everything and you're like no this doesn't feel legit you can get your money back like it, it's that simple you can literally you can join for an hour and ask for a refund now you have to give us two to three days for a refund because it is a process we don't want you doing this and i'm not encouraging you to do this but what i'm trying to say is you have no risk. And if you're curious about how to do this, if you're thinking about it, the, the decisions may just do it and then think about how you're going to learn to see if this really is for you by going through the training. So that's my answer to thinking. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So we got a lot of other people that mentioned ASM member. We've got uh, Shane who's ASM member. We got Michelle that says super excited. Uh, Michael thinking about joining. A couple more on the fences. Uh, we've got uh, Chuck who says I'm on the fence but about to jump over. Um, and then yeah, so a lot of other people. So we do have a good question here. I'll let these guys answer in just a second. I'll flag this one for Rich so he can pull it out. Uh, so a lot of other people says they're ASM members. We've got another Jamie who basically says uh, on the fence but ready to jump off. Uh, Michael on the fence, more ASM members, and here's uh, Michola says, just signed up about an hour ago. Dean says, I am new, just signed up. Kristen right above that, signed up yesterday. Hello, Sweet. Kristen. Yep. Uh, then we've got uh, Neville says, be joining ASM very soon. We've got Sharif will be joining soon. Uh, cool. So we're going to get into some live Q&A here. I'm going to keep checking these questions out, and uh, we're going to bring up Mr. Mike McClary for the live Q&A, and I'll be back in just a few moments while I check out some of these questions behind the scenes. Cool. All right, Mike, thank you very much. Thanks for being here. Um, so I see a question right there that I just want to ask right away. It says, what's the commission percent we would receive on each sale? So this isn't, so you, you're, you have your own brand of physical products and you are putting it on Amazon to sell. What Amazon does is they charge a 50, well, there, there's different fees depending on the, on the category, but on average it's 15%. So you pay, so if you sell your product for $40, 15% of $40 is $6. So you have to pay Amazon $6 plus shipping. 
So there's a shipping handle, and the thing is, Amazon's rates are fantastic because you got to ship the product. Like you can't do that for free. So you know, let's say it's five to six, seven dollars shipping. So right there, you've got about you know nine, ten dollars in cost. So your product's now selling for thirty dollars profit. I think that's a pretty you know yeah, pretty good. Yeah, real good. Effort. So out of that, you know, hopefully your product it costs no more than fifteen dollars to source the product and get it up onto Amazon. So that gives you another fifteen dollars of pure profit. That now, when you sell your product, not only are you going to get the money back from the cost of the product, but you're going to make an extra fifteen dollars on top of that to be able to reinvest and grow your business. So it's not a matter of you paying like it's not like a commission per. I guess it is, but but that's how the payment, the fee structure works on Amazon. Awesome. And then I see another question here, and plus we got a whole bunch of questions we've been putting into a document to make sure we didn't miss any. Okay, uh, cool. There's one on here though. I see that, uh, let's see, the question is, are we going to send the bonus traffic to every single product that I launch uh, after, no. or just, the, no, we can't do that unfortunately. Uh, we'd be sending traffic uh, for the rest of our lives because once you start this business, you will continue to launch new products. But as for the, the first product that you launch, uh, we will be sending. I said we have budgeted a hundred thousand dollars to send. And I guess you know the idea again is that we want to really give you a good gust of wind yeah. to get your you know your product up and selling. Now then it's going to take you continually marketing and continually ensuring that it's a good product, continually doing good customer support that'll keep it going up more and more. Awesome. So uh, Andrew Artis, not a question, but joined Just ASM my nine. nine eight, my my ASM nine. Awesome to have you here. All right, so let's see. Uh, uh, David Chen asks, may I uh, ask how many people start with just one product? Almost everyone. Yeah, I mean, we highly recommend it. It's all about focus. If you try to start with two products, you've got to duplicate everything. You've, you, it's, it's exhausting, and especially now, I guess there's exceptions to the rule. Mm -hmm. Like if you have the revenue, if you have time, if you're just sitting at home every day, I mean, do whatever you want. But th this, is, this is designed so that the average person who is probably working a job, taking care of a family, can get started with about one to two hours a day. If you only have one to two hours a day, you need to start with just one product. And the thing is, by doing that, once you go through the system once and you got that one product up and selling, that's when you can start adding lots of products, but learn the system. Um, yeah, yeah, if, even if you have, like say, unlimited funds, I'd still recommend starting with one. Yeah, your because, very first time. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. This is a learning process. Yeah. Uh, all right, so Martin Alvarez asks, if I live outside the USA, uh, do I need to create an LLC or company inside the USA for selling on Amazon FBA? So Martin, so you don't have to create an LLC right away. Now there's lots of different ways you can set this business up. Uh, there's different situations and scenarios. Uh, so if you're selling in the country that you're at, you absolutely can sell as a personal seller. If you're selling inside the USA from outside, or uh, you know, um, or you're selling inside the EU from outside there, you don't have to necessarily set up an LLC or a company. But we walk you through. All of that in the first module. Rich Henderson has helped hundreds, if not thousands, of people get set up in so many different scenarios. Even when the countries we consider we consider these category three countries, where Amazon's not really crazy about you selling from there, we still have people selling from those countries because we walk you through all the steps. We know what does and what does not work. And so, if you're you're in a special situation or scenario, you join the course. Post in the community if you have any problems at all, and we'll walk you through the steps based on your personal scenario. Absolutely. Um, and, and for the, you know, the big thing that we really try to drive home here is, you know, like with creating a company, with having all those expenses, you know, you want to make sure you invest, you have as much cash flow initially just to get your product up and running. If you have like, a, if you only have a, this next example, so it, uh, Anne Napello is asking how much do people typically spend on inventory? So a great question, like we say, you know, you need, we recommend at least $2,000 to spend on inventory. So if we're recommending $2,000 and, and you know, it, it can be anywhere up to 5,000, but you can start even less and I'll get into that in a minute. But with that $2,000, if that's all the money you had, why in the world would, instead of investing in inventory, would you want to spend the first 500 on getting incorporated before you've even had a chance to prove the product works? Because you can get the product up and selling, especially on Amazon.com, so easily. You can just have it under your name on Amazon.com and then switch it to a business once everything's proven out and you're able to have more money to reinvest. Now, with that question, to go back directly to that question, how much do people typically spend? Um, it's all over the place. Yeah, I'd say anywhere as, as small as 
five hundred dollars yeah. of the twenty five hundred is the average people spend. Yeah. We know some people will decide like I'm gonna go big. I'm gonna spend eight thousand dollars, and we know yeah, yeah. Or and then we uh, Angie Chacon, one of our biggest successes that we talked to just a few days ago. She started with one hundred twenty five dollars. Yeah. Uh, we're not recommending that. We're not saying that anyone here can do that. She had a special scenario, but it just goes to show you that if you really put your effort into this and you believe you can make this a success, it doesn't matter how much you can put in. Just make sure you get into the game. And, and the big thing with that, like, so if you don't have, like, if you only have, say, $200 to start with, what that's going to mean is that you're just going to have a narrower pool to be able to choose from for that initial product, you know, because you might not get MOQs for the product that you really wish you had, but our process will identify products you'll be able to get started with. And then you just slowly sell those and grow the inventory and keep reinvesting in your business. And very quickly, within six months, you could be really rolling very effectively, starting with just a small investment. Now, because of the way we teach in the Amazing Selling Machine, we actually do recommend, that's why we like to say about $2,000 because we want you to have enough inventory so that you can do some marketing strategies right off the bat. Give away a few products to be able to get some word of mouth going and do things like that. And so that really sets you up to be in a good spot. Absolutely. Now, tied into that question, a Weston Stump asks, how many products do those sellers who are selling about $500,000 a year, I believe that was a Paul and Rochelle and also Athena, they're both right on the half million dollar mark. They're asking how many products were those sellers selling. I actually know uh, their businesses pretty well. Paul and Rochelle have five products, and Athena, I believe, has about three to four products. Uh, now, the number of products can be all over the board. We've typically seen that you know big sellers and the small sellers don't have a ton of products. Yeah. You don't have Not to have as a many lot of as you would yeah. expect for the amount of volume they do. I mean, yeah, we have some sellers that have grown to hundreds of products and they've scaled out and they've created warehouses and all these kind of things. And other people that, like you see, Ann Ferris, who just wants to work off her laptop. I don't want to create a warehouse. I mean, Angie Chacon, she has a warehouse now. She's like, she's, it's just, you can take this business as big as you want in whatever direction you want to fit what you want. And that's what's so beautiful. I'm going to let you read the next one, but don't say her last name. There's a reason for that. Okay. Okay. So Heather, I am one of those people, ASM9, who joined without telling her spouse. That's why I didn't want to say her last name. <laughs> All right. So you didn't tell your spouse. Um, What's the best advice I could tell you is um, make this work. Yeah, absolutely. Wrong. And so give them such a wonderful surprise. So Philip Jepson, yeah. beautiful man, him and his wife, Pamela, um, he kind of did that. And what then what he did when he eventually, because here's the thing too, make sure like go through a little bit of the training. And I mean, I'm not trying to tell you to hide anything, but prove it to yourself first too. Like, don't just go off of us telling you before anything drip, drips, like dive in and really get into it and really justify to yourself that yes, I made a good investment and then talk to them and then tell them why you did it. And you can give them promises. Cause look by this time frame, I promise if I don't achieve this, you, you know, like I will figure out how to pay that money back. Like, make a commitment but first like get into the training a little bit um i don't recommend it but the funny thing is like so many of our guests like so many people have told us that and you know what's an interesting thing about that too is the power of community because i've been through this everyone's been through this is that when you're starting a business you know and you even heard john gill talk about how his son said amazon what if dad you know when you have that negative energy around you they can deter you because all of a sudden you hit a roadblock and you're like, nobody believes this will work. This is probably a joke. I need to get out of here. But with the community, that's where you get that support. You can go in there and say, hey, guys, you know, this is happening in my life right now. Who's got experience with this? How do you deal with this? And you'll have 20 people give you a response because every, you are not alone. What you're going through with you doing that, others have done it. And you'll have people you can talk to. Um, I always believe that honesty is the best policy, um, but obviously there's other reasons that you're doing it. So just make sure to prove to yourself and then be honest with your spouse. You have 30 days to get a refund. Um, I think you'll be okay. That's about the best advice I can give. <laughs> That's good job. Good advice. Uh, Andrew Artis asks, do you have successful people who have been selling less than two to five years? Oh my God, absolutely. I know our first two or three guests have been selling for several years, but we had Ann on who's only been selling for like six months. You know, she, her, she's been selling for less than that. She joined six months ago. Uh, just earlier this week, we had another uh, Dana on. She's been selling for less than a year. We have tons of success stories also. Who's our new mentors too? There's uh, a couple of new mentors that have only been selling for like yeah, the last Sonia, year. Sonia, Ann, uh, 
several uh, like uh, Sarah has been selling for that long, either like a couple of years. So absolutely, there's tons. Yeah. Like all, and that's the thing you'll see in there. It's um, all over the, the the map. Like it's people right now. And I guess you, when you asked this question, maybe you didn't see Anne. Like she literally just joined six months ago when we were open up last in last October, um, and she's been able to implement and like be building a business now that's allowing her to actually sell her other business and just focus on this. So it's uh, yeah. Uh, this next question, are the doors really closing? Like they are closing tonight. And the big thing about these closing, and yeah, we're not sure when they're going to open again. They, they will open again. Um, but what will not happen, number one, is the bonuses are gone. The six-month buyback will not be there. The, the $100,000 in traffic that we're going to generate will not be there. And the listing valuation will not be there. So those will be taken off the table. Um, and so if we do open up, if we open up again in, in three months or six months, we're not sure yet, um, those bonuses you won't be able to get. So that, that's, that's the answer to that question. Yeah, so if you're on the fence, today is the day to get the best yeah. bank. And those bonus. bonuses are like the slingshot that's going to make a huge difference. I mean, trust me, that's huge. Yeah. All right, so Olympia Norwood asks, is it possible to start this business with only $500 in inventory? Uh, the answer is absolutely yes. Like Jason already talked about, there's lots of ways to move ahead in this business. Uh, you have time, you have money, and you have effort. Those are three of the things kind of around it. So if you have less of one, you can compensate in the other areas. So uh, if, if Jason can afford to spend $5,000 in inventory, I can only afford to spend 500. So my first step would be to borrow that, but I know he's gonna say no. So then my next step would be to either put more time or more effort into the business, and most likely both of those. And you can compensate, and don't ever compare yourselves to anyone else, what they're able to invest in the business. Just work with what you have, and then make up for what you do have to offer, which can be putting a lot of effort into it. Actually, I would suggest giving back in your time and your efforts. So once you get into the community, start sharing what's working for you and what's not. It's amazing how, how much you give back, you get back in this community and everything in life. And the cool thing, you know, again, John Gill, I mean, he was so motivational there. It's like, if you have your reason why, you know, if it's like you really want to have a better life for your family, if, you know, healthcare, whatever it is, that is going to be such a driver for you to do this. And so it does, can you go back to the question again? One yeah. second? So, um, and so what, whatever it is with the amount of money you're starting, that's what, you know, the amount of money you're starting, if your driver is big enough, you can make this work and you can be resourceful. That's the thing. Find ways, like find ways. Actually, I know Andy, she said on her video that she actually uh, was able to get the inventory given to her without giving cash first. And then she had to pay after it was sold. So she got a small amount of inventory to be able to start that way. Really figure things out. Like if you want this to work, you will make this work and use whatever resources you have. But a big thing again is give back. Always give back, share your learnings and you'll see good things will come to you. Absolutely. Uh, Brian Brooks, Brooksby, uh, this isn't a question, saying he's not a member yet, but we convinced him and he's getting out his card and joining now. So awesome. welcome aboard, Brian. Uh, Chris Bowman asks, are the modules all open from day one? or are they week by week? So we've been doing this a long time. Um, we've been, Amazing Sound Machine itself is the most proven course to have the most successful members. We've created so many millionaires. Um, we are so honored by that, but it's because of the system. You've heard every one of the speakers follow the system, follow the system. So we have a system and what that system is, is each week a new module drips. And the reason we do that is because we want our customer support, we want our mentors, we want our community, all focused on the same stuff because then we can give you the most value. Then when module two opens up, that way we can all move together. Now, the cool thing is if you're on module three or four, you know, we're a few weeks into it and say you had to miss a couple weeks, everything's recorded, everything's there, but you can still jump in. So if we're in module four, but you have questions in module two, you're fine. You can ask away. There'll be members now that have experience can answer it. The mentors will be there. The support will be there. The weekly call will be recorded and you can catch up at your own pace. Now we find eight weeks is just the right amount of time to be able to get all the information out and get you set to be able to do it. But remember, 
after the eight weeks, we don't just say goodbye to you. You can come back as much as you want. In fact, you usually will because by the time you get to about the fifth week and you start ordering your inventory, usually your inventory can take a couple weeks, up to six weeks, depending eight weeks even, depending on what it is you want to order. And we teach you about all that in the, in the lessons. And then you come back and you start implementing the rest of the training if that's what's needed. But we also make sure that we give you action that you can always be taking. So while you're waiting for inventory, we give you specific things that you can do like what, what are some examples of some of the things oh you can work on your social media your Facebook account set up a Pinterest account MySpace for Jason Instagram <laughs> uh, lots it's of other accounts the MySpace. Uh, the MySpace everything uh, you can work on getting content set up like press releases you don't have to like post them all right away you can plan them out so you're ready to go for the next eight weeks same thing with any kind of content or post on your social media accounts you can get ahead of the game and you can actually make your life really easy for the next eight weeks by doing all types of things so that when your products are ready to go, you can hit the ground you running just, and take yeah. off. So you take advantage of the, the listing optimization and traffic we send you and with all your stuff ready to go, you just send all this traffic and activity to go to just get your sales to go. Um, it's a beautiful system. It, it really sure is. Sure is. Uh, Ariana now asked the question, and if you don't mind, I, I want to answer this one because there's a reason for this. Sure. Uh, what additional costs are important to take into account, such as Amazon's seller fees, FBA fees, storage of inventory, uh, using their FBA calculator, etc. Now, the reason I want to answer this is because just today I was re-recording -re another lesson inside the course because I noticed there was a change made to the way we're calculating things and I wanted to make sure that everything was accurate. And I was showing members how to use the FBA revenue calculator tool. And what that tool is, is it actually tells you everything that Ariana just asked about. If you're ever concerned about exactly what fees Amazon takes out that you need to worry about, Amazon will tell us that and I walk you through exactly how to figure that out. So the only fee or the only additional cost you need to worry about is what you'll spend in inventory. Now when you want to figure out exactly what your profit is for every single product that you sell, we'll walk you through that entire process. I'll show you how to find products similar to yours to, yours, to put into this tool that Amazon creates for us. It'll tell you exactly what the FBA referral fee is, what the FBA storage weight handling and picking fee is, what the uh, uh, what any kind of other like inventory storage estimated fees are, and it'll tell you exactly down to the penny what your profit margin in both dollars and cents and a percentage will be. So we already tell you all those things uh, and we'll walk you through it. So don't worry about any of that. We're gonna show you exactly how to figure out your true final profit on every product. Cool, so this next question I love. So it looks like Sharif Rashad uh, says, I am already selling on Amazon and I've already bought inventory, but I'm totally confused and lost in getting sales. So is this course right for me? And the answer is a resounding yes, 100%. <laughs> so first of all, you might have made a terrible mistake with the product that you decided to pick. So you're going to learn whether or not you even picked the right product to start with. Now you're saying, oh, but I already got the inventory. I'm stuck with it. Absolutely. So by going through the course, we're going to give you the absolute best chance possible on optimizing it properly, making it the best product possible, getting the advertising right, all of that stuff, we're gonna help you do that so that you can at least sell your product. Get it sold so that if you didn't pick the right type of product to go with, you can get that inventory sold and then reinvest that money in a different product, 100%. But if you did pick the right kind of product and it's a winner, you're gonna to wanna to go through the training even more because not only are you gonna get all that advice and training, but you're gonna learn how to boost your sales. Like that's the biggest thing. I, module six, does it start? Or? It's the launch blitz rank in module six. Yeah, yes. module six, like you are gonna see results. You follow this system, you're gonna see sales and you're gonna get excited and you just keep building upon it with all of the training. By the time you're done in module eight, you're now learning how to scale your business. Um, it, it, yes, the answer is yes, this is for you. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, I know we got lots of other questions as well. Let's see. So let's go and see what kind of live ones are coming through. What do you think? Yeah, sure. All right. Now, I am not a Mac professional, so hopefully I can find some of these ones here. Uh, there, let's there, see. There. Six month buyback. There. Is taking the seller store mandatory? Is this just a new... Uh, what's is this just a new layer I want to add to my business this is just a new layer I want to add to my business I'm not exactly sure about the question but uh, but just you know I mean part of the buyback is that if you do everything we talk about I know Jason and Matt already went through it but if you do everything that we teach you um, meet the very you know easy guidelines to actually find your product buy your product launch your product using the tools and ways that we tell you to do it and you still don't want it we will buy back the inventory 
we will give you a refund for the course. And yes, that when we buy the inventory, it does include your seller account if you're wondering. Yeah, you about know, that. like at the end of the day, we're, what we're not offering here is, oh, I picked the wrong wrong product. I want to keep doing this business, but I'm going to try a different product. Like we're not buying your business back for that. Like we we're at the point here where it's like you're proving it's working. You're just not interested in doing an Amazon business. So here we'll take it off your your plate. You know, like we don't want, so we need to take the whole thing because what you're saying at that time, this is not for me. I don't want to sell on Amazon. I don't want to do this business. So here, can you take it from me and let me go do another thing? Um, what's going on here, man? All right. Okay. So we have a deal breaker a here. A deal breaker. I would, deal breaker from Paul is I would have to put a lot on a credit card. How long to realistically turn it into cash flow? So first of all, disclaimer here. We cannot guarantee anybody results. It really depends on the amount of effort you put in, how much you follow the system, and even your ability to learn. As you heard John Gill, he had to watch the videos 10 times over. Some people can watch them once. So with that being said, our goal, and that's why we have the six month buyback, is by within six months, you can have a legitimate product up and selling on Amazon generated income. Would you say that's fair? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, and that's why we target the six month buyback promise. You know, the thing is that you've got to take action. And that's what the six buyback six month buyback, we give you those milestones that are very generous milestones. And if you're taking action, you're going to hit them. And that's why, so that we want you, because we know taking action is what gets results. So we want to push you to take action. So within six months, if you're taking action, you will see results. Absolutely. You know, and so you well, say well, absolutely yeah. a lot. I just I want do. to make I sure absolutely do. I know that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Paul and the next Paul, there's two Pauls asking questions, very similar. Paul Mahan asked that question and Paul Powers asks, what is the actual net after paying for initial product and then restocking? Uh, there's a lot of different answers to that because it's going to depend upon your profit margin. It's going to depend upon how much you spend in marketing. So here's, here's what I was saying and tie it back into Jason's last response. How you decide to reinvest the profits from your first batch of inventory is going to determine how you, quickly your business grows. So realistically, we talk about you know profit margins somewhere from 25 to 40 percent. Uh, you will spend some money on marketing and advertising, but what we've seen from the sellers who grow the fastest, they decide to take a part or all of that and reinvest it back into more inventory. If you actually want to take that money out and start living off of it, well, then you'll have less to reinvest in inventory. You'll still be able to buy inventory with the money you get back out, but you won't be able to buy more inventory in order to grow quickly. So how quickly you want to grow this business really depends upon how much you want to put back into it. There's lots of different ways to do it. You can either turn this into a cash flow machine where you get to a certain point where you're just getting cash every month. You can turn this and grow it into the biggest asset you've ever seen just by putting all the money back into it and never taking a penny out. Or you can do a hybrid of having it kind of as an ATM and an investment by taking some money out every month and reinvesting part of the profits as well. We go over all three of those scenarios in the course so you can decide what's best for you. And you can change your, your path. You don't have to like say, I'm going to go this route and stick with the rest of your life. You have the ability, you're in control. This is your business. You don't have a boss. Um, and you are completely in control of what you decide to do with this. And cash flow is really important and we totally get that. But one thing I encourage you not to do is if like you need to be able to be like, oh my God, I need to be able to make $10,000 a month next month. This isn't going to happen. Like, no, you have to go through the training. Like, this is a six month process. Now, we have had people, like you hear of Ann Ferris, within just a couple of months, she also made $14,000. Um, that does happen. But that's like, that's not the regular thing. Like, usually that doesn't happen that someone can get a product up and selling that fast, that successfully. Um, she was just able to push, push, push. Now, all of our students that really push hard, and that's the thing, that's why we offer this buyback guarantee, because everybody that does this succeeds and loves it. You know, but it's something that you've got to put a lot of work into it and you've got to reinvest into. Like you can't just be sitting there, oh, in six months I could be making this much money. Why don't you think bigger and say, if I can figure out how to do this, and grow, like keep doing my business, my work, whatever I'm doing. And for the next year, really just invest everything back in the business. You can get at a point with your business very quickly where you can quit your job, start paying yourself a salary and then 100% safely run that business because you feel secure in the fact that now you're earning the income and you like you just sacrifice a little bit more to be able to invest back in the business. Just, just a huge question. So we got one more deal breaker I see right here. 
Um, if we follow the system for our first product launch, but it doesn't sell well or lose money, is it possible to make a profit for our first product? Um, I see what they're saying. Like, um, I've heard some people say that your first product is your worst. Well, first of all, the reason why your first product is your worst is because you learn, is that you make mistakes, that you all of a sudden realize when your product gets up there and you start learning. Well, it's actually, I'd say the biggest reason is because you start learning who your audience is. There is no proof until sales start happening that you are correct on your audience. We can give you absolutely every insight in the world, but until your product starts selling, you don't know who your customer is, so you don't know how to connect, and you don't really know what they want. So you're making your best estimate, you're looking at competition, you're doing analysis, you're figuring out that it's a proven seller, this is their market, this is how I'm going to sell it. But then once you start selling it, all of a sudden you might find that, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm targeting like 55 and plus, but really it's like mid 20s and it's mainly females that are buying my product and so then once you know that you can start tweaking it and making it a lot better because you start to know your product um and so with the whole thing with fall prices and that's why your first product is usually the worst because you still don't know everything and we want you to get going as quickly as possible and once you get the product up there you get better at it you start learning now is it possible to make money with your first product i mean i think every person on this call made money with their first product. Yeah, they, uh, you know, even Gracie, who said her first product was a loser, sold out over Christmas. Yeah, like when so. they say a loser, it's just, there's mo like to me a loser, like what they're saying is it's not that it's just, it's just not making as much money as it could. And you realize there's better opportunities or it might not be a product that you really want to sell. Like I said, I used to sell health supplements, diet supplements. I didn't like doing it. It wasn't me. It wasn't something that I was passionate about. So I changed into a different market. I'm more in house and home and outdoors now because those are things I can better relate to. So it's those kind of things you start discovering as you go through this process. And that's the thing. We're here with you. You have all these questions. You get in the community. What about this? Boom, boom, boom. We give you help. It's not just us you're getting answers from. It's people in the exact same scenario as you that have made it work that can give you that guidance. Uh, we had a question here, I believe, from Yasha about do they need to apply for a trademark right now or is it too soon? Absolutely too soon. Until you get your first product and develop your brand, you do not need to spend, like Jason talked about earlier, money on anything else. Uh, there will be a time, and believe it or not, it'll be quicker than you think. There will be a time within the first year, probably within the first six months, that you will want to go out there and get a trademark once you've proven to yourself that this works. And then you get the trademark, you get the protections, and you get a lot of additional benefits as well. Uh, yeah, so uh, here we go over here also. There were a couple other ones we want to get to on this screen. So uh, Joe Scarborough just joined. Welcome, Joe. That's awesome. Uh, Lucas Dean just joined. Thanks, guys. And looking forward to starting the course to freedom. Yeah. Remember, so anyone, with, there's been like hundreds of people on here, but tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. is our very first just a welcome call we're going to have. We'll all be up here with all the new members. Uh, so if you want to see us tomorrow morning and talk to us and like get a welcome to the call, you absolutely got to join tonight. I mean, we're talking about that's only 13 hours away from now, maybe 14 hours or 14 hours away from now. We will be up here again. We'll be tired, but we'll have a welcome call for everyone. So yeah, we'll see you, Lucas and Joe, on the call tomorrow. Uh, I'm going down yeah. Right okay. Now. I think that's good. So let's look back at the. Uh Do you have any other questions? No, you just, is that the bottom? Oh no. Keep going. A big decision. I have a lot of interest. All of, I'm concerned. Yeah, I think we're good on questions, guys. I'm not really seeing anything. So remember, in just about five hours, in, yeah, exactly. Well, just four hours and 15 minutes, we're closing the doors. And we're closing the doors and pulling the bonuses. That means these bonuses will never be available again, these specific bonuses. Um, we don't know how long we're closing the doors for, um, but our focus after we close the doors needs to be on our new students. Um, so please, please, please just do it. I, you know, and the reason I'm so passionate about this is because I know it works and I know you will be better for doing this. And the thing is, if it doesn't work for you, or if it doesn't feel right for you, well, then you can change, you can get your refund. You don't have to be committed. Um, this is the best system in the world for turning people's lives around that I've ever met. Every speaker, isn't that true? When we go to SellerCon, every speaker, whether it's been Richard Branson, Robert Kiyosaki, um, any of those people, Joe, like all those people, they say what impresses me most here is the community of how many successful people there are here. How many people have become millionaires, how happy everyone is, how excited everyone is, and it's a true blessing to be part of this, and I encourage you to be part of this. Absolutely. Now, let's bring up uh, the rest of the crew here. 
Yeah, so uh, thanks everyone for joining us. We all just kind of wanted to sign off together. Like Jason was saying, we'd love to see you inside of Amazing Selling Machine. Hopefully we answered all your questions. This was the final webinar. People are wondering, can they watch a replay? There should be a replay right up on our YouTube channel. So if you just type in, uh, if you go to YouTube and you search for amazing.com, the replay will be right there. That's probably the easiest place to get to. Now doors do close in uh, just a few hours. So hopefully you go over to amazingsellingmachine.com and get access. And uh, we look forward to seeing you inside of ASM. So thank you for joining. Take care, everyone. Bye.